Phoenix Wright. We recently just finished the first one. Guess I'm going to new game, right? We recently finished the first one. In the epic fucking 11 hour stream. Which I totally didn't plan for for anything. And, and I'm still feeling the uh, repercussions of that. But we're here. Time to start the next Phoenix Wright game. I'm surprised I'm not scared to play the next game. Because of that fucking 11 hour on the fucking... What was it? The fifth case? The last case. Oh man, I just hope... I just hope the game doesn't fuck me over like it did last time. But... Phoenix Wright, Justice for All. I guess it's time to start it, right? Episode 1, The Lost Turnabout. Let us continue the Phoenix Wright saga. Let me get a drink of water before I kill myself. How did I get into this mess? That's far enough. You can't run forever. Mr. Phoenix Wright. Oh god. Is this is this a Castlevania reference? <laughs> what have I done wrong? I cannot allow you to go on like this. But but I'm just a simple defense attorney. Silence! You are no longer worthy of your title. Says the judge who gets bribed. September 8, 9.08 a.m. District Court, Defendant's Lobby Number 1. Okay. This is his ringtone. What a nightmare. And I bet it was this ringtone that caused it. I have a huge fucking smile on my face. Is this... I hope the game's fun. I have a giant smile on my face right now. Not because I'm happy to play this. Because I feel like this is going to go terribly wrong. For me. Not for the game. For me. I really shouldn't be doing... Wait, what? I really shouldn't be dozing off right before a trial starts anyways. Beep. Huh? Looks like they hung up. Ah, good. I finally found it. What the fuck? What is this goofy sh bullshit? Talk about a close call. It's nothing personal, Mr. Attorney. Did I just get killed? Right off the bat? Am I dead? A few minutes later, District Court Defendant Lobby Number One. That dude? Oh shit. That tells me something's fucky gonna happen, isn't it? Did he knock me out? Ouch, my head. It's throbbing. And why does it feel so foggy in there? Why, hello. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Ohayo gozaimasu. What's wrong? You don't look well. People are at their best first thing in the morning. Where that, where's that fighting spirit? Sorry, but can you please turn the cheerness down? My head sort of hurts. What the fuck did I do last night? Roger that. By the way, who are you? Um... Am I in trouble or something? Huh? Trouble? Wait, never mind. You're a policewoman, right? I thought maybe I had done something wrong. What are you talking about? I'm the one in trouble. What? I'm placing my life in your hands today, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Life? In my hands? You promised me- Do I have amnesia? You promised me you said you would prove that I was not guilty. Not guilty? Just when I thought all hope was lost, when all other lawyers had laughed off- have laughed me off. Leave it to me, you said. You, the one and only Phoenix Wright, came to save the day. And just like that, I was moved to tears, sir. He gets amnesia so much. Oh. So it's Room Factory. <laughs> I never forget what you're doing. Oh, did the game just glitch out for a moment? What the fuck was that? I never forget what you're doing for me, ever. 
What is this girl blabbing on about? Actually, I really love to watch court's proceedings, and I always root for you to win. When I'm off duty, I like to come here and... Oh, her name's Braid? Bride? Braid? What's wrong? You've been acting really strange and you keep staring at me. You're making me kind of nervous, sir. Oh, sorry. Hmm. I'm afraid to ask, but here it goes. So, this might sound bad, but, uh... Who are you? W what? Mr. Wright, how can you say that? How can you do this to the fragile heart of a girl about to go on trial? You're absolutely horrible. No, I mean, I, I didn't mean it like that. Is this how a defense attorney treats his clients, sir? I can't believe this. No, it's just... Well, I think you have the wrong person. Oh, I said her name as Bird? Really? You never pronounced the Y? <laughs> Bird? I, I guess because of the fe feathers, right? That would make sense. Is the Y silent? Yes, I'm... I'm... Who am I? Why am I drawing a blank here? Okay, Shadow the Hedgehog, calm down. Who am I? Who is this Maria? The trial will begin shortly. Will the defendant and her lawyer please proceed to the courtroom immediately? Hey, Bailiff! Hey! Hey, Bailiff! And police security guys in the background. Did you really just sit sit there and watch me get thwacked across my head? Wait, was that, was that just what happened and you did nothing about it? The trial is about to start. I'm counting on you in there, okay? Well, don't, don't count on me too much. I guess I must have amnesia. Let's see. What can I piece together? From the sound of things, it's probably safe to say I'm a defense attorney. And that girl, I said I proved her not guilty? I can't believe I made such a irresponsible promise. They're basically statues. Ah, so they're like, they're like, uh, the Queen's guards or whatever. They just sit there like someone can get stabbed and they're like, no, I have to sit here emotionless. Uh, someone please help. Tell me this is just a bad dream. Why do I get the feeling this is one dream I won't be waking up from? Gulp? September 8th, 10 a.m., District Courtroom, number two. Court is now in session for the trial of Maggie Maggie Braid? Maggie Bird? Is her name really Bird? Maggie Bird? The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Oh, Payne, he's back. What is it, Mr. Wright? Um, uh, are you talking to me? Do you see any other defense attorneys here? I guess not. Now then, are you ready? Do these choices actually matter? I'm gonna... Oh, wow, wait, hold up. We carry over the saves from the other games? Oh, that's fucky. It doesn't have its own separate thing. It all counts as one game. That's weird. All right, whatever. We're not going back to that game anyways. It has a has a different icon. No, I'm not ready, Your Honor. Um, what if I say no? Would that be all right? Of course it wouldn't. Then why bother asking me? Actually, you see, Your Honor, my memory's kind of, uh... The court will not hear the defense's excuses. Because the defendant is a member of the police, this case is under great scrutiny. Therefore, we must make this trial fair but swift. I believe I have told you this before. I hope you're not telling me you've forgotten. Actually, I have. Mr. Payne, your opening statement, please. Yes, Your Honor. As I'm sure you're well aware, the defendant is accused of killing her lover. Oh, shit. Damn, Phoenix, what you got yourself into? <laughs> They're like, you got amnesia? That's too bad. Man, it sucks to be you. What's worse, her lover was the fellow police officer. A policeman? You did what to a policeman? It wasn't me. And besides, Dustin and I... We weren't lovers like that. Oh, so it was like a one-night fling? In any case, 
The prosecution will prove that the guilty party is none other than defendant. Very well. Mr. Payne, please call your first witness. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him fucking his anime. Like, take his glasses and point him up. It's been a while, Mr. Wright. Let's see what you learned since the last time. Well, considering I had amnesia, I'm pretty sure I learned jack and shit. I won't show you any mercy this time, rookie. I'm still a rookie? Guys, it's been like, what, a year? Since I've been doing this shit? Okay. And who are you again? The prosecution calls Detective Dick Gunshoe to the stand. Here we go. Don't let me down, Mr. Wright. Nowhere to hide. I'm so dead. Witness, please state your name and occupation. My name is Dick Gumshoe, sir. I'm the detective in charge of homicide down at the Princeton, sir. You don't look very well, detective. Well, sir, the defendant, she works under me. So, you know. You work under that detective? Yes, sir. And while I was trainee, he was always watching out for me, sir. He's such a wonderful guy, sir. I'd never forget what he's done for me. Okay, calm down. I believe you. Detective Gumshoe, please describe for us the details of this murder. Yes, sir. It happened at the park near headquarters. Expo... What? Expose? Expose? Is this supposed to be now Expose? I don't, I don't know how to read. The victim was one of the local cops, Dustin Prince. Oh, that's a nice name. He was pushed down from the benches on the upper path, sir. That doesn't... I guess he must have landed on his neck, because I'm be honest, I don't look that high. The landing beat... Uh, the landing beat hit... Wow. The landing beat his body up bad and, and snapped his neck. Okay, yeah. Snapped his neck. Like a... Like a fucking pencil, just... The details are listed in the report that was... Uh, distributed yesterday. For some reason, I'm having a hard time reading. Ah, uh, yes. This autopsy report, correct? Why don't I remember getting a copy? I see everything is in order here. Even the estimated time of death is unusually well documented. The victim's watch step... Wait, what? The, wisdom, eh. the victim's watch stopped from the impact of the landing, sir. The results of the autopsy confirmed the time of death. If I may, Your Honor, the prosecution would like to submit the photograph. Very well, the court accepts it into evidence. Crime photo one added to the courtroom. Now then, I recall the yesterday preliminary hearing. A very important piece of evidence was brought to our attention. That's in your inventory? What? Oh, shit! <laughs> At least I have my trusty badge. I found this in my pocket, but I don't remember what it means or how it got there. <laughs> oh, shit. Found underneath the victim's body, pieces of near, nearly sighted lenses were found nearby. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know it was already in there. A very important piece of evidence was brought to our attention. Yes, Your Honor. Yes, sir. Yes, I guess. Mr. Wright, is your head on right today? I mean, I am right. There was a very uh, crucial piece of evidence found under the victim's body. Uh, what was there? Have you lost your mind? Yeah, pretty much. Well, actually, um, it's just nerves. Give me a second. What? How can you talk? How can you talk like that? Wow, I can't read. How can you talk like such an amateur? I thought you were a pro, sir. All right, sir. I'll help you through. I'll help you through this. At a time like this, maybe you ought to take a glance at that court record. Court record? Yep. Info about evidence and people involved with the case are listed there, sir. You can look at the court record by pressing the R1 button, which I've done already. The R1 button, huh? You really know what you're talking about, don't you? It's too bad I'm a cop, right? Just think, I could totally be a legal aid instead. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. Court is in session. Save your chit-chat for later. Sorry. Well, I guess I better check the court record and see what I can find. What was it again? The R1 button? Alright, Mr. Wright. Let's see if your notes are in order. What was the piece of evidence found underneath the victim's body? It was glasses. That's simple, Your Honor. A 
broken pair of glasses. That's right. The victim grabbed his killer glasses as he as he was being shoved, sir, and held on to them as he fell. Hey, why are you giving me that evil eye? I mean, they aren't even the same glasses. These are blue, and the frames are uh are halved at the bottom, not at the top. I'm pretty sure anyone would notice that. But okay. Hey, why are you giving me the evil eye? Those glasses you're wearing. Yes. This is my spare gla- uh, this is my spare pair. But these glasses they found at the scene of the crime are not mine, I swear. I mean, just look at them. They're different. Sure about that? Look, it was a coincidence that on the same day, I accidentally stepped on mine. A coincidence, she says. Hmm. <laughs> Your Honor, I have further evidence to present. Oh? You have more. What the hell? I'm getting a fucking phone call. Give me a moment. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Oh my god, they're calling me again. Jesus fuck. I swear to God, the shit I have to deal with. So basically, what's happening right now is for some reason, my ghetto family are starting ghetto problems in front of my house. And I'm not getting involved with that shit. So they can kill each other if they want to. <coughs> Anyways, back to my video games. This evidence is very decisive. Very well. Let's hear from our witness about the evidence. <laughs> bruh he's like bruh for real <laughs> the witness testimony I really hope that pressing fucking statements are easier to do now I hope I don't have to do them in a specific order cause that sucks 
There's something even more incriminating than the glasses under the victim's body, sir. Oh, what is this soundtrack? I like it. During his date, the victim was pushed from the bench area. But he managed to write the culprit's name on the ground where he landed. Broken neck. But, mm, I, I guess... I guess he can still be alive with a broken neck, but I mean, like, if he's... If he had a broken neck and he was still alive, every game has different music? Oh, I, I believe it. I mean, you gotta have something new in it, right? But I guess if... I mean, I would assume, even if you fell and you had a broken neck, uh, if you were alive by then, you would... Mm, I feel like you would, you would be alright as long as you didn't really move that much. Unless you had, like, internal bleeding or something. Uh, but he managed to write the name, uh, name of the culprit on the ground where he landed. Alright, get the fuck out of here with that. Now that's bullshit. That just looks like... So, no one who's, like, on the floor with a broken neck can have perfect penmanship like that. Get the fuck out of here. Someone came and grabbed his hand and scribbled... I don't like saying it, but it was clearly the defendant's name. Maggie, sir. With this piece of evidence and the glasses, it's hard not to say she's the culprit. Also, her name was misspelled. This is a picture of the writing, Your Honor. A, her name is misspelled, and apparently they were dating? It looks fake as shit, exactly. Like, if they were dating, I'm pretty sure he wouldn't misspell her name with an I-E. Especially if you're dying and you're writing that shit, you just end it with the Y, right? It's faster. You can get the whole message out. Why, this is... Yes, I can see her name. It's clearly written here. The prosecution would like to submit this picture. Understood. The court accepts it into evidence. Crime photo. Fake as shit. As if the glasses alone didn't make you look suspicious. The victim even wrote your name clear as day on the ground. But, but Phoenix Wright, I was an electrical. That's bullshit. How do you explain this dying message? It's a conspiracy. I'm not guilty. I really love how Phoenix with amnesia. It's all like, okay, you're a defense attorney. You're supposed to defend her. And like every five seconds, he's like, yo, you're guilty as shit. What the hell? <laughs> Why, why'd you do it? And she's like, come on. Come on, dude. It wasn't even me. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Cross-examine? This is it. I'm counting on you. Sure. What am I supposed to do? What? This isn't like you at all. Normally, this is the part where you get in the witness's face get in their face and do what? I guess there's no way around it. Okay, I'm gonna lend you a hand. This prosecution's witness all hide things from the court. Which means they lie from time to time. From time to time. Lie? But isn't that a detective your superior? Well, even if they don't mean to lie, sometimes people just remember things wrong. Hmm, like that detective? He does look sort of like a scatterbrain. It doesn't matter either way. It's bad for us, sir. That's why when you question witnesses, you have to find and expose their lies. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination, please. Yes, Your Honor. Talk about a trial by fire. Here goes nothing. As long as I can expose the lies, we should be all right. Decisive evidence. All right. Pretty sure that's not a lie. During his date, he was pushed from the bench area. But he managed to write the culprit's name on the ground when he landed. I don't like saying it, but it was clearly the defendant's name, Maggie, sir. With this piece of evidence and the glasses, it's hard not to say it's... Alright. 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 Fake-ass fucking writing. The culprit's name? Yeah. I was surprised, too. I didn't want to believe it, but what's the name of that? Uh, what's the name of my client? Okay, I'm just gonna go, right? Time of death, body brought. 
Can I, like, examine it closer? Okay, no, I can't. Eh, caused by a broken neck. Now, I'm not sure if they mean broken neck is instant death, but I'm gonna go for it. Okay, well, they're not counting that as instant death. Alright, cool. Cool, cool, just making sure, you know, gotta, gotta, just like, just like Cole Phelps, you know? Sometimes you gotta shake the tree and know, and know what falls out. It was clearly the defendant's name, sir. Alright, so what do I actually have? Oh, that's my pocket. Da -da -da. Ba -da -ba. There's no... There's no name written there on that picture. I'm gonna point that out. Alright, I'm overthinking it. That's what's happening. Right off the bat, right off the bat, I'll get a game over. I'm overthinking it. Oops, that didn't go so well. Dare to stay with the victim, push from the bench area. There's something even more incriminating. Bless him, Bobby Sue. Not sure this game or the next, but at some point you can present character profiles as evidence. That's what I was thinking too for like the glasses thing. Because she has a different pair of glasses. And I'm pretty sure if you had a spare pair of glasses, it wouldn't be a different pair from what you usually wear. I don't say it. It's clearly defendant's name Maggie, sir. Yeah, and also this, it's like you can you can pull it out and be like, hey, jackass. Her name is misspelled. It says present. Can I do that? Oh shit! I got it! What? What is this? What? What's coming over me? Why am I pointing my finger? It's like, it's like I was meant to do this. See, I, w I was thinking about presenting the fucking profile, but I'm like, they, here's the thing. They didn't give me, like in the first game, they wouldn't allow you to do shit unless they told you about it. Except for um, pressing an order. They never told you about that shit. But... I guess they're assuming you know things already. So, okay. Without thinking, I just blurted out objection. And I yelled it at the top of my lungs. Finger outstretched, ready to take on my opponent. He <laughs> just so hard he came. He's like, oh my god, what is this feeling? What a rush! Detective Gumshoe. You, you talking to me, pal? Are you talking to me? Please state the defendant's name for me, sir. <laughs> Payne's voice. <laughs> what are you trying to prove with the futile exercise, Mr. Wright? You'll see. This is a very crucial line of questioning. Actually, Mr. Payne, you can answer. The defendant's name, if you please. What? what? Where's this ridiculous question coming from? The defendant's name? It's, uh, it's Maggie Bird. She goes tweet tweet. I think someone needs to check the court record. What? It says right here that it's Maggie Bird. Oh! It looks like the birds caught the cat nipping, nipping, napping. My bad. There wasn't an eye in there. I got too excited. What's going on here? I have no idea either, sir. As you can see, the victim did indeed leave the name Maggie. However, the defendant's name is actually spelled Maggie. This is a blatant contradiction of facts. Oh. How's about that? I haven't even noticed. But, 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 but maybe the victim didn't know how to spell her name correctly. Bullshit. I'm pretty sure I would know how to spell the name of someone that I've been in a snoo snoo with. May I remind you that it was you who said the defendant is accused of killing her lover? If they were truly lovers, it would be impossible for him to have not known her name. No! This is very true. Mr. Bane. Y y yes, Your Honor. 
Are you absolutely certain that the defendant and the victim, Dustin Prince, were in fact lovers? Y yes, I'm quite certain, Your Honor. They were as a well-known couple in the police force. Detective Gumshoe, please testify for the court the relationship between the victim and the defendant. Yes, sir. Officer Prince and Officer Bird had been going out for about half a year. Sounded like they were even talking about marriage. Really? After half a year? He said half a year or a year and a half. The day of the incident just happened to be the victim's birthday, sir. Oh, that sucks. Maggie, I mean, Officer B Bird had gotten Officer Prince a present. It was something she had brought over two months ago. I should know, because she came to me to ask what she would, uh, what she should get for him. <laughs> what is this? A present for me? Happy birthday. And he just, she just pushes him off the ledge. <laughs> and then you fucking, you just hear, uh, the Marvel vs. Capcom announcer in the background go, la 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 la, maximum. Oh, those two sound like they were close. Nevertheless, tragedy struck. Hmm, yes, I see. You may cross-examine the witness, Mr. Wright. God damn. You know what? This isn't even like... I mean, my, my views on marriage are different, but I do remember recently I was hanging out with one of my friends and he told me that uh, he was thinking about proposing to his ex at the time they were going out. And I looked at him, I said, you guys didn't even live together yet. It was some bullshit. You know, don't give me none of that. <laughs> Propose to her. What are you, crazy? Officer Prince and Officer Bride have been going out for about half a year. Oh, so only six months. Holy shit. Wow. Wow. Well, now, now that we're presenting this shit, the victim and policeman seems he was dating the defendant. Prosecutor in the case lacks, lacks presence. Generally bad at getting his points across. You know, she'll look at those. Wait, I'm sorry. The only thing I can recall is that she's a policewoman. She's cute. I like her. It sounded like they were even talking about marriage. The day of the incident happened, victim's birthday. Maggie, Officer Bride, had gotten Officer present. What was this present? I would like to know. Was it a knife? You seem to know a lot about the defendant. Well, that's because I'm her boss, and I gotta watch out for my subordinates. But you didn't even know how her name was spelled? Jesus. But even what she was going to give as a present, isn't that going a bit, wait, what? But even what she was going to give as, okay, I read that right. <laughs> isn't that going a bit too far? Hey, pal, watch what she say. I know everything that happens under me. If someone so much as scratches there, I don't need to know that. I really don't need to know that much. Too much info. Mr. Wright, please refrain from, from, uh, uh, badgering. Couldn't say the word. Badgering the witness. I agree. Even if this witness has a crush on the defendant. He totally does. He totally does. I'm, I'm like catching that vibe. Like 100%. That's how, <laughs> that should not be the point of discussion at this time. Whoa, wait a second. Why, what are we talking about with this? It's all your fault, pal. You're guilty. I should have you arrested. I think the good detective is about done here. Well, can you tell me what was in the present? That, that's what I want to know. Over two months ago. Yep, she was a very considerate woman, pal. So, what was this birthday present? She got him a glove. A single glove? Why would she only give him one? Actually, Your Honor, the glove, is quite, uh, glove in question is a baseball glove. Oh, I see a baseball glove. Also, Prince was a huge baseball fan. A baseball glove? Hmm. Press further. Just how? Uh, just now I believe- just how? Wow. Just now I believe you said that the pr uh, present was something. She had bought over two months ago? Yeah. Are you saying she brought the glove at the store that- that far in advance? Nah, nothing like that, pal. Then what's it- uh, what is it like? She ordered it. It was custom made. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. That's, that's a nice present, I guess. People in Japan, well, even though this doesn't play, this takes place in imaginary land far away. But people in Japan really love baseball for some reason, so that's nice. That's a nice gift. Yep, that's what I said. Hmm, so this glove was custom made. 
Your Honor, I don't really see how this glove is related to the case. Yes, it would seem that there's a little relevance. What do you think, Mr. Wright? Do you think the glove is really relevant to this case? Of course it's relevant. I don't know, I don't know where this will lead me, but... Of course it's relevant. That glove is the key to this whole case. Yes, bluffing to the max, shut up! Don't tell him I'm bluffing! I'm trying to save your ass here. Now this is the Mr. Right I know. I'm so happy you're back, sir. I was wondering how long it'll take. This is great. Hmm, crossing people. It feels... It feels good. I feel the power coursing through my veins. As they... As they fucking whimper in the corner, and I bombard them with questions. As if I used to do this... Uh, I used to do this... Eh. As if I used to do this... Fuck, I can't read. As if I used to do this to squeeze information from <laughs> even the most tight-lipped people. Make them shiver in fear. Very well. You're the... Uh, if you are that convinced, then let's hear some more about this matter. <laughs> Phoenix has a courtroom kink. He definitely does. Actually, I brought the glove with me today, sir. And... Why didn't you say so earlier? Or are you going to show the glove to the court? Well, I didn't think it had anything to do with this case. I thought it was a nice glove, so I just took it from his dead body. It's mine now. <laughs> Anyways, this is it, sir. It looks like a banana. With like a jewel on the side of it. It's, uh, rather yellow, isn't it? This is why him and Edgeworth has such high sexual tension. They do. They really do. He's all like, huh, huh, what? Objection. Overruled. Officer Prince really liked the color yellow. And that's why you had it specially ordered? Yep, that's right. And that and one other reason. I think this court has heard enough. Is it clear that the victim and the defendant were involved with each other? Yes, that is correct, Your Honor. Now, if that's true, it brings up the important question. Was the name Maggie really written by the victim? Of course it wasn't. I see your point, Your Honor. Detective Gumshoe, please tell us the court a little more about the name on the ground. Yes, sir. We first looked into the handwriting. Unfortunately, we couldn't confirm that it was the victim's handwriting. Next, we checked the victim's pointer finger. We found that there was sand trapped under the victim's fingernail. There were also scratches from his skin that were caused by him writing on the ground. From this, we could confirm that the victim wrote this name with, with his right hand. Okay. Hmm, yes. A perfectly logical conclusion. Now then, Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Thank you, Your Honor. I'm gonna fucking cross-examine him into the dirt. First look to the handwriting. Fortunately, we couldn't confirm that the victim's handwriting. Why was that? I would like more information. So in the end, you couldn't confirm it. Hey, don't you look down on us. I told you, we're not a bunch of simpletons, pal. I don't know, considering the last game, the police were pretty fucking useless. Everyone knows you can't find out everything you want with the scientific investigation. I never heard that before. Me neither. <laughs> I said me neither before I fucking read it because I was agreeing with them. Nor I. I never heard anything like that in the police academy either, sir. Okay, so I made it up. Anyways. Next, we checked the, f uh, the pointer finger. We found that there was sand trapped under the finger's fingernail. Blah, blah. Scratches on his skin that were caused by him writing on the ground. Scratches on his skin? Yep. You can't see them with your naked eye, but they're there. That's incredible. Sure is. That's the power of scientific investigation. They're so small that we had to use a magnifying glass, like a real strong one. It got that really scientific sandal name. You mean a microscope? Yeah, that's it. We used one of those, and that's how we found them. I can't believe this guy doesn't know what a microscope is. Okay. From this, we can confirm that the victim wrote this with his right hand. And what does this prove? Well, it proves that he did write the name with his finger, uh, with his own finger. Yes, which explains why there was a sand stuck under his nail. I guess he's right. 
And there's more. Okay. Now, in the picture, does it, it shows his right hand, right? In the, wait, hold up. Is this a right hand glove or is this a left hand glove? I'm trying to, I'm trying to like, I think this is a right handed glove. Just making sure, just make sure, dominant hand and all. All right, it is his right hand, just clarifying. Oh, it is right hand. Okay, what else we got? Check the victim's pointer finger. Unfortunately, we couldn't confirm it was a match. Uh, we first looked into the handwriting. Was the handwriting the first thing you looked at? But can you really determine handwriting based on the simple writing in the sand? Hey, this is why amateurs are amateurs. We're not a bunch of simpletons, pal. <laughs> Scientific investigation is pretty good. All right. <laughs> He's like, it's pretty good, but you can't find everything. But you can find everything. I believe it's time to break the, uh, get back to the real point. Agreed, Your Honor. So what are the results of the investigation? I'll check the last question. I mean, not the last question, the last statement. My bad. Are you absolutely sure? I believe in the power of science. Hmm. I wonder if my evidence is solid enough to counter with. Listen to this. You would think there was only one conclusion. That the name was definitely written by the victim. But don't you think that, uh, that it would be really strange, sir? If Dustin really wrote that message with his right hand, do you think I <clears throat> think I would have gone through that much trouble to get him his present? Present, what about it? Yeah, that's what I said. Is it a fucking left hand glove? And in here it does the thing doesn't even tell me it's left handed, is it? Custom made. I'm trying to like I was trying to like envision holding the glove in my hand. Having it on, it looks like, like, if I point my right hand down, it looks like it'll be a right hand glove. But I guess not. I guess it's left handed. Confirm that he wrote this with his right hand. Objection. Detective Gumshoe, take a look at this. You throw with your dominant, uh, you throw with your dominant hand, right? Yeah, exactly. You would throw with your dominant hand, you would also write with your dominant hand, unless you're an am ah, fuck, I can't say the word, ambidextrous. But, like, looking at the glove, the, um, clue doesn't tell me it's left-handed or right-handed, and I was just trying to, like, envision at the angle that they're presenting it with, envision me, like, putting the glove on. It looks like it's a right-handed glove. Because that's the thumb right there, and, you know, point your right hand down, you can slip it on through there. That's the glove, right? Could you tell the court what's so special about this glove? What's special? Mm, never really thought about it, but... It's really yellow. And that's about it. Yes, it's really yellow. But that's, the on that's only one of its qualities. Hmm? There's another reason why it's special. And what would that be? It's very simple. This glove is made for a left-handed person, even though... It doesn't look like it. It really looks like a right hand glove in all aspects of the way, no matter what angle you look from it. Left handed? Why, you're absolutely right, even though it's a right handed glove. This glove is made to be worn on the right hand. What? What? <laughs> what is happening? What? This is why he had to be- this is why it had to be custom made. I have never seen a bright yellow left-handed glove for sale, have you? <laughs> Wait, what? I don't get it. Wait, what? It's custom made to be right-handed? What? <laughs> I'm doing fine, thanks for asking. I'm- my mind is blowing up right now. So, detective. Which hand did the victim use to write the name with again? That's easy. Look, it's obviously from this picture that it was his 
Wait a second. What do you mean, wait a second? Don't forget that the victim was left-handed. Which is... Catch with your weaker hand. Oh! Really? I, I throw and catch with both my dominant hand. You know what? You're right. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, you are right. Holy shit. Wait. Yeah. Okay. I was confused as fuck. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. Okay. Okay. Listen, I don't play I don't play sports ball. I'm not a fan of that shit. <laughs> this this is I mean, I object Overruled, bitch. Mr. Wright, I would like to know what your line of reasoning proves. There is only one conclusion that can be drawn. A left-handed person could have not written a message with his right hand. Therefore, the person who wrote the name Maggie could not have been the victim. Order. When you think about it in that way, yeah, I guess it does make sense. It is not possible that the name was written by the victim with his left hand, even though it's in big ass letters and who knows, maybe after breaking his neck he wasn't thinking straight. Then that means Maggie is... No. It's not possible! Mr. Payne. Yes, your honor. The evidence the prosecution has presented has failed to prove the defendant's guilt. In fact, I believe you have proven her to be innocent. Also, if you look at the other evidence, there's no name written here. So, whatever. No! All right, you did it, Mr. Wright. Phew, I feel like I can breathe again. It seems that we have reached the conclusion. You did a fine job once again, Mr. Wright. Me, your honor? <laughs> well, thank you, sir. See, you got complimented by the judge again. You're really good. And that's why you can't give up on being a lawyer, sir. Are you joking? I'm more than, I'm all, I'm more than ready to retire. Damn. I will now announce my verdict. This culprit finds the defendant, Maggie Bird. <gasps> no, not yet. Oh shit, look who's being assertive. I mean, please give me a few more minutes, your honor. What, what is the meaning of this, Mr. Payne? The prosecution is not finished yet. What? You don't mean. We would like to call our next witness to the stand. What? And what did this wit uh, what did this witness witness? The moment the victim was pushed to his death. What's more, he saw the very face of the culprit. What the hell? Okay. Order. Order in the court. I believe a recess is an order. Afterwards, we'll, we will hear from this new witness. I had a feeling that was a bit too easy. Hmm. I need more information. I have to... I have to see what I can find out during the recess. I can't let my guard down. It's only going to get tougher from here. Court is adjourned for recess. Good job, Phoenix. Good job, buddy. You're doing it. I need to drink water. I'm gonna die here. My voice is not made to, to be this loud. I'm usually a quite soft-spoken person. September 8, 11.43 a.m. District Court, Defendant's Lobby, number one. A amnesia? I can't believe my lawyer is trying to defend me in such a state. I, uh... Why didn't you tell me, sir? I'm sorry. I mean, I did mention it to you. Oh, I know what to do. I heard you can fix something like this with a really strong shock to your systems. Like static shock. Come on. Lower your head and a little. A Maggie kick should be... Oh, God. No, I'm, I'm pretty good, dude. I do the voice is pretty good? Really? I'm not really doing much. I think my voice sucks, actually. No, no, no. I think I'll pass on this one. Come on. I'm, I'm sorry. Whenever I see someone in trouble, I have a hard time leaving them alone. 
I tend to stick my nose where it doesn't belong and try to tackle everyone's problems. Yeah, I guess you tackled that guy to his death, huh, didn't you? Even though you were proven innocent. <laughs> well, my head's one problem you won't be tackling today. Well, we're here to solve your problem first. We can deal with mine later. For now, do you think you can fill me in on a few things? Of course, I'd be honored to. Or people just monologue all the same. All the same. <laughs> effort is still effort. Okay. And all I... Uh, well, fuck, I already lost my, my fucking way of reading. Oh, well, I guess we'll start with my name and then I can tell you about me. No, no, that's okay, really. I think I know you and your name pretty well by now. I was wondering if you could help me figure out a few things about myself. So my name is Phoenix, right? <laughs> what a weird name. Hmm... This is serious. We really don't remember. I'll tell you what, sir. You can have this back, and maybe it'll help. Hmm? This? A business card? I got this from you. It's my most prized possession. Okay. You can borrow it for now, but please give it back, okay? Okay. There's some numbers written on the back. Oh, that's your cell number. Phoenix's business card. I guess for now, we should stop talking about me and start talking about this case. This case? Yep. You can think of anything that would be helpful for me to know. Hmm. What can I tell you? I can't think of anything other than the incident with the cell phone, but... Cell phone? Yeah. Your eyes lit up when we talked about it at the detention center, sir. Hurry up. Hurry up and tell me. This might be very important. Okay, Roger. Roger Dodger. It was on the day of the crime, just before 6 p.m. I picked up a lost cell phone while I was walking with Dustin. She has the blue badger! Man, I guess that monster made it big, huh? All of a sudden, the phone began to ring. Beep. Um, hello? Oh, thank you. I've been searching for my phone. Is this yours? Oh, I'm glad you called. We can meet up and I can give this back. I'll be right there. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. You can call me Maggie. We agreed to meet up at 6 p.m. Dust and I waited for the person to show up, but they never did. Hmm. So was it the phone you found now? I gave it to you yesterday. Huh? To me? It's in, is it the phone in my pocket? You mean this? Do you think it has anything to do with the murder? I don't really know. But if my eyes lit up... I was gonna scream that, but then I, I decided not to. I had to stop myself. Oh my god! I screamed anyways. You're so mean. I called you a million times, but you wouldn't pick up. And when I went to check in the courtroom, everyone had already left. Now who the heck is this? Let me guess, I'm supposed to know this girl too? Hey, good morning, Maggie. Maya's back, my heart and joy, everything that is good in the world, things are set right now. And a good morning to you too, Maya. So, so, how's it going? Is there a word for worse than abysmal? Oh, and what if I said that everything will be fine? That's right. It's Maya to the rescue with the Ultra Detective Super Important Evidence. Did I say detective? My bad. Decisive. Here you are, Nick. Maya, you won't believe how long it's been since I've seen you. A fucking 11 hour stream. Can you believe that, Maya? Can you believe that? It was a pain in the ass. The thing you wanted me to bring. Huh? Oh, thanks. What the hell is this? A list? It has about 20 people's names and phone numbers written on it. I miss Maya too. I'm glad Maya's back. I hope she never leaves. It was kind of tough, but I managed to dig up some dirt. It looks like these guys are up to no good. Started making trouble in my neighborhood? Oh, shit. There's... there's a, <laughs> I can't believe I did that shit. There's a group of con artists the police are currently investigating. I think these guys are members of that group. Names list added to courtroom record. Why would a group of con artists pop up in a case like this? Don't look at me. Hmm. And where did you get this list from in the first place? What? 
You don't remember, Nick? You're the one who asked me to look up into uh, to look in this yesterday. Oh, is that right? These numbers were in the memory of wait what? <laughs> these numbers were in the memory of the phone Maggie found. Okay. She's like these were in the memory. I'm like memory of what what? <laughs> hmm. So that's where they were from. You're awfully forgetful these days, Nick. I hope I never get to be a, for a forgetful prune like you. Um, Maya, actually, Mr. Wright is... Mr. Wright, recess is over. Please bring the defendant and return to the courtroom immediately. Oops, guess you have to get going. We can talk about you being old later, Nick. Oh, come on, Maya. Don't leave me. Come back. I need your help. I guess I have all the pieces now, more or less. All that's left is to put it all together. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna lose this. I can't. Come on, Nick. Better gonna move on. Yeah. September 8th, 11, 40, uh, 54 a.m. District Courtroom number two. Court will now reconvene. Uh, please call to your next wit uh, please call your next witness to the stand, Mr. Payne. Yes, Your Honor. But before I do, if I may say a few words, what is it, Mr. Payne? It's about the next witness. He has a tendency to say things that rub people the wrong way, you see. So I asked the court might be a little lenient on him. There's no need to give a perf per preface? I've never seen that word a day in my life before. Just so hurry up and call your witness, please. <laughs> yes, Your Honor. The prosecution calls its next witness. A drifter who was, ta who was taking a walk in the park on the day of the murder. Look at this fucking pretty boy. Please state your name for the court to witness. Before I do, I'd like to carefully... Oh, wait, what? Carefully. I'd like to clear, clarify a little something. A little something-something. Uh, oh, all right. Go ahead. Just now, you introduced my wonderful self to the courtroom. Perhaps as a drifter who was taking a walk. I did. But I will not stand for that. Now... You tainted the court's eyes and colored me wrongly. Sure, I was supposed- What? Okay, calm down. Hold up. I can't read that fast. Alright, I'm giving up. I'm walking away. Bye. You're still going. Shut up. <laughs> Jesus. Yes, yes, I understand. I'm very sorry. I'll be more careful from now on. What is he, a human chatterbox? Oh, shit. My I thought you were- I thought you weren't gonna be here, Maya. Uh, I have to question him? Dude is something else. Exactly, he's mad extra. Fashion, cars, women, glasses, and of course, university. First rate, only needed a pie. Glasses? But you aren't wearing glasses. That's enough. Your name, witness. Oh? Is that how you want to play this? Using your power influence to keep the young people down. I see how you work now. You old people and your dirty tricks. You thought you had me, but you thought wrong. Uh, sorry. I'll, it won't happen again. Oh, man. I forgive you. All right. I suppose I can tell you my name. I am Richard. Oh, my fucking God. This is amazing. This is amazing. You want to know why it's amazing? Because there's this character I have in my head. That I made up, and his name is Chad Wellington, and he's just a high hoity-toity dickhead. And now we have his far distant cousin, Richard Wellington. Richard Wellington the fifth, the Drifter. For oh, I can't even say that fucking name. Uh, Verto Vertoso, <laughs> the Drifting Vertoso, with the PhD in drifting, as it were. If you wanted to, you could call me university student in transit. Ahem, Mr. Wellington. On the day of the murder, you were taking, uh, strolling through the park, correct? It would appear that you are attached to that word. If you must, then I'll, by all means. But I remind you that I am in no way pu prepubescent boy out on a walk with mommy. If you must know, my mother is an aristocrat. And my father played in the Aristocats. 
Oh, a rinky tinky tinky. Anyways, please testify to this court what you saw during your walk through in the park. See, you said it again. Taking a walk, you know you. What you witness will do, Mr. Wellington. I was at a park all afternoon, and deep in thought about my life situation. Like, how am I supposed to spend all this money before I die? I don't remember the time all that well, but I do believe it was past, hmm, 6 p.m.? All of a sudden, a police officer falls from above right in front of my eyes. Without a thought, I looked up, and there, was, and there I met the eyes of a charming young lass. Of course, I remember her sweet face. It was that of the pretty defendant there. The only other thing I saw was the banana that fell with the police officer. His blinking is so is so rendered. What? Hmm. That was certainly a decisive testimony. Decisive? Nick, did you hear what he said? Yeah. He said it was after six. There's no way you can see the moment of death if the moment actually hold up. When was the moment of death? Okay, it was after six. Never mind. Never mind. I, I resent that statement. That's all you have to say. How can you be so calm? You're strange. My mind is very calm and clear. Maybe it's because I... I believe in my client. You mean Maggie? Yes. And if she really is innocent, then that can only mean one thing. That guy is lying. You may now question the witness, Mr. Wright. I'll find out the truth, no matter how well you craft your lies. All right. Cool. Well, what was the... I wanna, I wanna see the list that uh, that Maya gave me, real quick. Maya, you handed me a list. I would like to see. Oh, I can't examine it. Fuck. All right. I was at the park all afternoon, deep in thought about my life situation. I don't remember the time all that well, but I do believe it was past 6 p.m. All of a sudden, a police officer fell, uh, fell from a bad 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 fell right in front of my eyes. Without a thought, I looked up, and there I met the eye of a charming young lady. Of course, I remember her sweet face. It was that of a pretty defendant there. The only other thing I saw was a banana that fell with the police officer. The banana. Well, well, it was actually more than just one. More like a bunch of bananas. Now, what a bunch of bananas be doing there? And why would I know such a thing? I'm only telling you what I saw. That's really strange. Maggie never mentioned anything about a bunch of bananas. That's it, Nick. He's gotta be lying about the bananas. Hmm. He could be, but there's no reason for him to lie about there being bananas at a crime scene. I mean, he just doesn't know what it was. It looks like bananas to me. But what if it's not a lie? Well, maybe he thought he was seeing one thing and it was something else. Yeah, see? I mean, it would fuck up his testimony overall, but still. It is inaccuracy. Which means if I can, if I can somehow, uh, if we can show, uh, if we can, if we can somehow show he's lying. Yeah, that's exactly what we need to do. All right, guys, you're talking too much about the fucking glove. I get it. Damn it. <laughs> I get it. I get it. That's why I pressed it. I just wanted to, you know, confirm. Right? Of course, I remember her sweet face. Very pretty. So, a bunch of bananas. Do you mean these bananas? Mr. Wellington, I believe I've heard the bananas you saw right here. I've oh, heard, have, my bad. Oh, so you knew about the bananas too. Why didn't you say so earlier? But don't think that you can use this as a way to pull more information out of me. And that's where you be wrong. Mr. Wright, what's the meaning of this? Isn't that the baseball glove? Huh? What? A baseball glove? Doesn't it look delicious? Care for a bite? Th that's... That's not... It's... No! 
Your Honor, I think this proves one very important fact. This witness loves bananas. Has bad eyesight. Has nothing about base. Uh, knows nothing about baseball. Well, he has bad eyesight then. By the way, just how bad are your eyes? Huh? How? What? You? Why are you asking me this all of a sudden? Because you said glasses earlier for some reason. Your Honor, it is very simple to mistake a glove for a bunch of bananas. No, I don't think so. Objection overruled. Go fuck yourself. You, you, you. You're one of those people. Yes, you know what I mean. You're like those people who refuse. Oh, fuck. I'm not, I'm not dealing with that. I'm gonna take a sip of my water now. And that is why I asked you how bad your, uh, how bad is your eyesight? They're both 2200. I suppose you're going to tell me that's terrible, right? It's non-existent. Why, why are you not wearing your glasses then? <laughs> um, that's because I, I lost them recently, you see? Of course, I was planning on getting a new pair, made right away. But you know, my glasses are no ordinary glasses, so to replace them... How about when you witnessed the crime? Were you wearing your glasses then? <gasps> How about it, witness? You, you are unrelenting, evil man. He, he's doing it again. I can't stop him. Which boils down to you not wearing your glasses at that time. Therefore, the identity of the woman at the scene of the crime and that of the defendant cannot be proven to be the same by this witness. God, he just choked himself. By the height difference, it was only nine feet. It was very possible for him to see the face of the culprit standing on... I want to point something out. I wear glasses. Nine feet makes a complete difference without them. When I play my games, I have to wear glasses because my TV is up high and it's on my wall, it's up high, and I gotta fucking, you know, sit back in my chair. If I do that without my glasses, the screen looks a little blurry to me. So, they make hell of a difference. Witness, please be more accurate in your testimony. Remember a person's life is at stake. Yes, your honor. Now then, please continue with your testimony. Please tell the court what happened next in the moments after you witnessed the crime. The girl on the upper path ran away as soon as she realized I was there. After that, I immediately called the police station to report the crime. It must have been 6.45 p.m. when I made the call. Is that it? There must have been a lot of free time on their hands since they showed up within 10 minutes. Okay. Hmm. So the person who was on the upper path saw you and then ran away? Yes, that is correct. Which is why even someone without a superior brain like mine can understand that. That girl is a murderer! Oh, shit. You may question the witness now, Mr. Wright. Question away I shall. Alright. The girl in the upper path ran away as soon as she realized saw her. After that, immediately called the police station and report the crime. Must have been 6.45 p.m. A lot of free time. Then 10 minutes. Okay, time of death, blah, blah. The victim fell from the walkway above. Wrote the victim's right hand. Hmm. Let me check the phone real quick. Uh, Alright. Let's see. Can't find anything out of the order in testimony. Why don't you take on more, uh, more look at the court record? That's what I did. Guess I should. Upper path ran away as soon as she realized I was there. Okay, after that, immediately called the police station to report a crime. She got in contact with the owner, but never showed. I mean, he never said anything about him losing his phone, but I'm assuming this is his phone. Mm, when I made the call, so a lot of free time on their hands. Okay. Immediately? As in... As in immediately. 
I mean, sure, a minute might have eclipsed before I did, but that's the duty of the average good citizen. Or did it not teach you that in pitiful school? Think people learn about how to call the police in college? Hey, Nick, I think you should take a look at that court record for a sec. I did. Okay? I did. I did. Does it say his name on it? Time of death. Covered in bruises. Not a victim bodies. Near sight lens. Near sighted lens were, were found. Is, is near sighted like you can't see close up or is it you can't see far away? Because I don't, I don't know the difference. <laughs> to be honest. Around a victim's hand. There's a clock there. The clock looks like it says, uh... You can't see far when you're nearsighted. Okay. So I guess I'm nearsighted. Shit. <laughs> Business card. Hand wrote my cell phone number on the back. Was con artist and their phone number stored on the cell phone Maggie found. I'm gonna press. I know Maya wants me to look at the evidence, but I'm gonna press. I didn't know what time it was. That detective told me. You know which one I mean? The one with the jacket that makes him look like a dropout from a no-name high school? Hey, pal. I graduated from a pretty good, I mean, top-rated college. I don't believe this. It doesn't matter. I don't believe I was mistaken on what I called. Uh, when I called. <clears throat> And if I'm wrong, then that detective obviously doesn't know how to tell time. What? Why you? You're just some lousy kid who... I think the court sees your point. Anyways, how did the police respond? Must have a lot of free time on their hands. So you're saying that there were police on the scene by 7pm? They got there before that, I think. There usually aren't many people in that area at the time of day. But suddenly, before I knew it, there were people crawling all over, gawking. It certainly says something about the morals of these people in this country. The moral of these people in this country. I can't find anything out of order. Okay, all right, all right, Maya, calm down, calm down, calm down. I love you, but calm down. All right, you want me to fucking? It's definitely, it's definitely this thing that she wants me to fucking use evidence on. I'm assuming that. I'm assuming it might be the cell phone. I mean, it's his cell phone. There's no doubt about that in my mind. Cover them versus profiles. Let me see. Still looking for the right college. Okay. Oh shit, I didn't mean to press that. <laughs> My bad. Sorry. Calm down, Maya. Calm down. Okay. Calm down. Let me just let me just do what I always do, because there's no checkpoint system in these fucking games. I'll use the phone. I'll use the phone. Yeah, I highly doubt that'll work. Okay, cool. Yeah, hey, yeah, it's fine. Calm down. Calm down. It's probably something super obvious that I'm just not getting in my mind right now. And I feel stupid about it. Time of death. At six. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Yeah. Hadoi. Yeah, that's by like 20 minutes. Of course it's something obvious. <laughs> of course it's something obvious. It threw me off. Mr. Wellington, would you please take a look at this? You mean the victim's autopsy report? According to this, the murder occurred at 6.28 p.m. So what of it? You said that you called the police immediately after the murder took place. However, by the time you had called the police, it was already 6.45 p.m. There's clearly a 15-minute gap here. Do you deny it? <sighs> I think this court would like to hear what you were doing during this 15-minute gap. <sighs> 
the witness was in shock at the time after witnessing a terrible murder. It's only to be expected that he would be a little dazed. Fifteen minutes is hardly what I would call a little dazed. Mr. Wellington. Yes. Explain yourself. What were you doing during those 15 minutes? Answer the question. I, um, telephone, uh, I mean... Spit it out. I, I was searching for a phone booth. A phone booth? You mean, you don't have a cell phone? Uh, you and your questions, as if you're trying to open all the layers of a miss- Oh god, what? Matroshka, Matroshka doll. I know that word, I'm smart. You must think you're really something special. Witness. I, I lost my cell phone. There, are you happy? You lost it. Unbelievable. You lose your glasses and your cell phone? You must be very scatterbrained when it comes to your belongings. What? Are you saying that first-rate people are never allowed to lose things? I'm, I'm just letting him go. I'm just letting him go. He, he's gonna go. Enough. Oh, man. Oh, man. Wait. Hold on a sec. He lost his cell phone. Nick, that cell phone, could it be? Do you mean this phone Maggie found? There's no way. Boy, I didn't see this coming. What should I do? Question further. Mr. Wellington, where's your cell phone right now? <laughs> what are you getting all excited about? You seem to be a little confused. I found my phone. I have you know. See, it is here. Oh, I see. Hmm, looks like he got his phone. And I thought it just maybe this was. I thought just maybe this was his. Hmm. Well then, I think we cleared this issue up. At the time of the murder, the witness did not have his cell phone because he had lost it. Therefore, the delay in his call was caused by the search for a phone booth. Okay. Well, that's the gist of it. I guess you could put it that that way and leave it at that. Do you have any further questions, Mr. Wright? There is one thing, Your Honor. Your Honor, the witness testimony doesn't make s doesn't, uh, bah, 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 doesn't make any sense. I don't believe that there was ever a need for a witness to search for a phone. How, how dare you? You can't just make outrageous claims like that. Do you have some sort of proof? Well, yeah, uh, of course. This evidence should be good enough, I think. All right, let's have this proof. Please present proof that the witness had no need to search for a public phone booth. Now let's suppose she got in contact with the owner, but they never showed up. I mean, she had a phone on her, right? But that that wouldn't really. Wait, hold up. Oh, yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. Take that, bitch. It's quite simple, actually. Please take a look at this. At the crime scene photo? Is there a problem with it? Oh, there's nothing wrong with the picture. But if you don't understand my logic after looking at this, something is wrong with you. No! Impossible. It's... it's a phone booth. That's correct. All the defendant had to do was walk three steps. Mr. Wellington, why did you not use the phone that was right in front of you? Order. What, what is reporting the crime a little late proves uh, by the defense? The witness can't explain what he was doing for those 15 minutes. That is a reason enough to throw suspicion at his testimony. Yes, this is very true. What do you have to say for yourself, witness? Then I bet this phone really is his, Nick. He must have killed Dustin to get his phone back. But Maggie said that she was going to return it to him. So there was no reason for him to kill for it. And on top of that, we still have the phone she found anyways. Hmm. But if he wasn't looking for a cell phone, maybe he was looking for something else. Was he? 
Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Do you have any thoughts you would like to share with the court? Can you offer an explanation as to what the witness was doing during those 15 minutes? Yes, I have an idea. There's only one possible explanation. All right, let's hear your explanation. However, before uh, before warned that if you exp if your explanation is not persuasive, you will be penalized. Think carefully for your for uh, think carefully what you present, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. I uh, probably shouldn't have said that. There's only one possibility. Please present to the court the one piece of evidence that will answer the following. Why didn't the witness call the police right away? Uh, her. Your phone number stored and cell phone Maggie found. Maybe this? Oh, I can't save. Oh shit, I'm fucked. Maybe this. Nope, nope, it's not. Alright, then it's the phone. Alright, calm down. Calm down, Judge. Calm down. Yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come, come down, come down, Judge. Come down. Here you go. What? It's not the phone. Oh, they don't take down two pips now. Okay, that's nice. Oh, I thought I would have been dead by now. All right, shit. I went to call the police right away. Uh. Pieces in maybe his glasses, right? Yeah, glasses are the only thing I can think of. Or this. It's not the glasses. Oh, it is the glasses. Okay. The music didn't stop for a moment. <clears throat> Mr. Wellington. Wh what? Don't do that. You almost gave me a heart attack. These are your glasses, aren't they? Uh, where? Where did you find? Gah! I believe the court all heard what you just confessed to. That these glasses are in fact yours. I'll tell you where they were found, Mr. Wellington. These glasses were found under the victim's body. Uh, under the victim's body? Order. Now wait a second, hold on. I didn't confess or confirm anything. Your Honor, I think the answer's quite clear here. As he fell, Dustin Prince grabbed the culprit's glasses. The culprit knew that he had to find his glasses and search frantically for them. What he didn't realize was that they were under the victim's body. And that is why it took him 15 minutes to make that call. Hold up. Someone died in a park? And dude's like scavenging around the fucking dead body for like 15 minutes and nobody notices? You serious? Mr. Wright, are you... Are you in... Are you uh, in, indicting? Is that the word I'm looking for? Yeah. Indicting the witness is the real murderer? Of course. That is precisely what I'm doing. Oh! oh! I know I'm right. He's the real murderer. Did you figure it out, Nick? More or less. Turns out the cell phone was the key to this case after all. Anyways, now it's our chance to, to now it's our chance to deep six this guy. What the fuck, deep six? That's a term I've never heard. I'll sink I'll sink him in one shot. Yeah. This is so exciting watching you work again. My, don't tell me you got a fucking court fetish too. Somehow, my old self is coming back to me. It's time to sink or swim. Everything rests on the edge of a knife. Like Thanos. This is the moment I've been waiting for. Order. Order. Your Honor, the defense. The defense is making a mockery of this court. Without any solid ground to stand on, he accused the witness of being the murderer. It's so funny, even though it's at the beginning. I like it, too. Yeah. Yes, that's right. I, I'm no criminal. This, this third-rate fraud of a lawyer. 
In that case, why don't we look at it from a different perspective? Let's hear your explanation as to why you are not the murderer. Why? That's... that's easy. Um, uh... For example, these, uh... The name the victim wrote. What about that? Oh, do you mean the name Maggie? Yeah. Even an idiot like you can can read that, right? But we already know that this... Oh, wow. We already know this was not written by the victim himself. After all, the defendant's name is Maggie, and the victim was left-handed. In other words, in order to make the defense look guilty, the real criminal used the victim's right hand to write her name on the ground. But... but... Wouldn't that mean that the real criminal was someone the defendant knew? Otherwise, how else would the person know her name was Maggie, or uh, Maggie? That's a good point. The witness didn't even know of Miss Braid, Braid, Bird, before this trial. Ah, oh, I forgot. Hmm. Was there any way the creep could have known Maggie's name beforehand? There is a way. It would be best if I could prove that the witness had a chance to learn that the defendant's name was Maggie. Now, will the defendants please present this case? How could the witness have known the defendant's name? Of course. Maggie found this part. She got in contact with the owner, but they've never showed up. Yeah. Mr. Wellington, you didn't have your cell phone with you the day of the murder, correct? So what if I didn't? When you realized you had lost it, what did you do? What did I do? Didn't you try to find it by calling it? Why you? How do you? Y Your Honor, these questions have nothing to do with... Overruled. Sit down, bitch. Mr. Wright? Well, uh, where are you going with this line of questioning? Do you think there's something related between the witness cell phone and the murder? I do, Your Honor. On the day of the murder, Maggie Bird picked up... God, the way, the reason that her name is Bird is just throwing me off because it doesn't look like it. Picked up a lost cell phone in the park. And... She also received a phone call from the owner of the cell phone. Um, hello? Oh, thank you. I've been searching for my phone. Is this yours? Oh, I'm glad you called. We can meet up and I can give it back. I'll be right there. Um, I'm sorry. I didn't catch your name. You can call me Maggie. That was when- that's when you learned that her name was Maggie. Uh, um... But you made one fatal mistake. Fatal mistake? My client's name is Maggie. But the name that was written on the ground was Maggie. This is a mistake that could only occur if you, if all you knew was how to. If all you knew was how her name was sounded. E gags. Order, order, I say. But, but, Your Honor, the witness has no motive. And your point is, it's very simple, Your Honor. A person usually wouldn't kill someone without a reason. Are you sure about that? Mr. Wellington has no reason to kill anyone. This is absolutely correct. I don't have a motive. Mm, Mr. Wright. Your Honor, can you explain the motive this witness could have had? Hmm. It's very simple, Your Honor. <gasps> Are you sure, Nick? If I said I can't offer an explanation, then the trial's over, right? Yeah, but... But nothing, Maya. Now watch and learn. Now then, please present to the court proof that the witness had a motive. Oh uh, yeah? He want that sweet glove! Mr. Wellington's motive is right here. What is this? A list? These phone numbers were pulled from the memory of the phone the defendant found. And we have determined that the people on this list are members of a certain group. You... You looked up those numbers. Of course. This list of phone numbers were, was stored in the cell phone's memories. The name and numbers belong to people who are members of a certain con artist group. What? Wait. wait c con artist? Can you explain why these numbers were on your phone, Mr. Wellington? This... This is an outrage. An invasion of privacy. Or as he would say, privacy. 
looking up the phone numbers of one person's phone is worse crime than murder. I, I'm not sure about that one, Chief. And I, I'm just gonna let him go. He's just gonna, he's just gonna go. He's just gonna do his thing. I don't care, Mr. Wellington. Honestly, I can give less than a single fuck. All I want is for you to tell us about this list. You think you, any of you, know what it's like to be a refined man such as me? Your Honor, this, this is unjustified badgering of the witness. Objection. Shut the fuck up. Not listening. Mr. Wright, what's the meaning of this? Why would the witness have the number of a group of con artists on his phone? Isn't it obvious the witness is a member of said group? <laughs> so invested. <laughs> Me too. Mr. Wellington is a member of this very group. No! All of your friends' phone numbers are stored right here on this phone. If anyone were to look into these phone numbers, it would be all over for you, wouldn't it? This is why you had to kill. No. This is too much! Hmm. That does make quite a bit of sense. Well, Mr. Wellington, would you care to explain? I... Um... I... I got you now. I... That... I... That police officer... Y your Honor! What is it, bitch? Your Honor, this... This is unjustified, but you said that already. You said the exact same thing only a few seconds ago. B b p please Please, let's think about the content of the phone call. Um, hello? Oh, thank you. I've been searching for my phone. Is this yours? Oh, I'm glad you called. We can meet up and I can give it- I can give this back. The defendant had already promised that she would return the phone. After that, all Mr. Wellington had to do was meet Miss Bird and to get his phone back. Why then would he need to kill anyone? Hmm, that is a valid point. What does the defense think about this? I think I'm fucked. That's what I think. <laughs> I did not think you would you would try and pull one like this. If you think about it logically, then it does make sense. Then maybe we should think outside the box? Yeah, if we think a little like that, let's see. Maybe that slime ball saw something at the crime scene that made him commit murder. Your thoughts, Mr. Wright? Hmm, well... I don't think Mr. Wellington went to pick up his phone in a very friendly manner. But he was promised his phone, so why would he have been unfriendly to the defendant? I think he must have seen something that didn't agree with him when he got there. Well then, Mr. Wright? What was this something that didn't agree with the witness? Hmm. If anything, I would probably have to say the glove. The witness saw this. Mr. Wellington, is he correct? By the expression of his face, I would say that wasn't it. Well, guess I fucked up. Oops. That's enough. No, it's not. No, it's not. Stop it. Damn it. As Maya would say, <laughs> why did we? Why did he have to kill the police officer? Hmm. I'm not Maya. My bad. I read, <laughs> I see her name and I instantly go to Maya. I meant Mia. Oops. I'm be honest. I'm not thinking straight because I really have to use the bathroom. <laughs> All right. How far was I when I last saved? I wasn't that far. All right. Something that didn't agree with him. Uh, let's see. Officer. The hell? Oh yeah, shit. <laughs> dogs banging at my door. I'm watching. I'm watching my brother's dog. She's a pit bull. Uh, what would I agree with him? Would it be the police officer himself? The fact that he's a police officer? Or... Uh, I don't know. Give me a second. I honestly have to use the bathroom and I feel like I'm about to piss myself. <laughs> I'll be right back.
All right, I have returned. And yes, I did wash my hands. Drinking all this water to keep my fucking throat, my throat calm. Can't hold it in. All right. What the fuck? My wires are getting tangled. Oh shit. Oh no, you stop that. All right. Let's see. Now. What do you see? Something that didn't agree with the witness. I mean, she is a police officer, right? So, if I'm pretty sure if someone lost their phone with a list of con artists, and, you know, they can possibly go through the phone, they see their police officer, you're like, oh shit. Um, I, I guess? Wait, Mr. Wellington saw what Mr. Wellington saw was the victim. The the victim? You mean Dustin Prince? Dustin Prince had gone on his date right after his shift was over. With no time to change, he went to the park still wearing his police uniform. Oh. The girl that picked up my Oh, my bad. <clears throat> the girl that picked up my phone. Wait, what? Oh, the girl that picked up my phone's with the police man. Okay. <laughs> For some reason, I, I I thought he was like I thought it was like the same flashback, but it had like different words on it. I got confused. He wouldn't have known that they were going out, so he began to worry. He was afraid the policeman would ask a few questions before returning the phone. If I do anything suspicious, he might run it run a check on my phone. In his mind, it was possible they had already ran a check on his phone, and he went into a panic. Is that what you're saying? Exactly. Officer Prince was moited simply because he was in his uniform. Listen, that's why after my fucking shift that I do at my overnight security guard shit, I always change my clothes before I head into any stores. Mainly because I hate it when I'm walking around and someone goes, Excuse me, you work here? And I go, No, I don't. I don't work here. <laughs> Officer Prince was murdered simply because he was in his uniform. Mr. Payne, do you have any comments? I, um, I'm thinking. Hmm, it seems the truth was, seems the truth has come out at last. The witness, Mr. Wellington, you are. <laughs> Impressive. Not bad for a person with a third rate education. What's that supposed to mean? The evidence? Evidence! Uh, this guy's really creeping me out. All you've been waving around and talking about is that suspicious cell phone. Suspicious cell phone. Uh, suspicious phone number. The suspicious con group that. They're all on the phone. But who's to say that phone is really mine? Where's your proof? Your evidence? <laughs> that laugh. Yeah, I do do security uh, for overnight shift. Which is why I'm like trying to stream as much as I can now, because once I get my uh my new job at like a different place, I'm gonna be like busy a lot of the time. I'm gonna make good money though, but I probably won't have that much time to do streaming and stuff. Sadly. You want proof that this is uh, that this phone is yours? <laughs> I already told you earlier. That phone I've lost. I've already found it. You don't have even the slightest idea who the phone in your hand belongs to. But you, you can be sure it isn't mine, you simpleton. What? <laughs> it feels good to see you squirm. Hmm. Well, we do seem to have a problem on our hands with this phone. Whose phone is it? Without knowing that, it's meaningless as evidence. Y your Honor, this is bad. I can't let him turn the tables on me like this. Mm. This cell phone. This dude is on hinge? Absolutely. There has to be something I've overlooked. There's gotta be. Maybe... Fingerprints on the phone? The phone stores? Numbers? Yeah, I mean, wouldn't, wouldn't, he, wouldn't it have the, uh... Wouldn't it have, like, the list of the con artist people? Wouldn't he be on, on that list? 
I don't I don't have much help. So let me let me save this. But wouldn't he be on the list? This phone has the names and numbers of those in the con group and its memory. I can show you I can show them to you, Your Honor. Yeah, he probably wouldn't be on the list of his own phone. I don't believe this. What are you talking about? Huh? What we're trying to determine is who the phone belongs to. Who cares about what phone numbers are stored on it? Besides, who knows? Maybe you went and added some of those numbers yourself. If that witness is quite right. I'm afraid I have to reject the defendant's proposal. That jerk is back at his arrogant and knowing self. Hmm. The cell phone. Well, what's the other option then? Something I overlooked. Fingerprints on the phone. Sure, why not? I wouldn't. Ass I would assume fingerprints wouldn't do much because everyone's touched the fucking phone. I got it. We should check for fingerprints. Fingerprints. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Wellington must have left some fingerprints on this phone. Nick, don't you remember when you got that from Maggie? You wiped it off. What? I did what? You said there was sand all over it. Wiped it? I wiped it? Pretty thoroughly, too. <laughs> it's it's oh so much fun watching this third-rate trash babble like morons amongst themselves. Ugh. He made me a complete. He's made a complete recovery. How many times do I have to say this? My phone is right here, you see. Oh, and incidentally, you can't check the numbers stored on this phone. It must have glitched because all the numbers just magically disappeared. You gotta be joking. He erased all the numbers I was going to use as evidence? Ugh. Mr. Wellington. What's this? By the tone of your voice, it sounds like you still have some fight left in you. Where did you, f where did you finally find your cell phone? <laughs> Oh, you're too much. And of course, you have no idea what I'm talking about. Hmm? I... Oh my god! Now I remember! Huh? Looks like they hung up. Oh, good. I finally found it. So that's when... What's wrong, Mr. Attorney? Why the harsh glare in your eyes? Nick, we're so hard to get this far, but... If you don't do something quick, he's gonna get all scot-free. I know. I know this phone has to be his. But how am I supposed to prove something like that? Mr. Wright. If you cannot prove who the owner of that cell phone is, your in, your in, your indictment an indictment indictment that's how you pronounce that <laughs> has no bias and therefore no power. It looks like you came up a penny short and a dime too soon. Where, where did I go wrong? Don't blame yourself. You're merely a third-rate lawyer. You only made one big mistake. Who are you? What are you? That's something you haven't figured out for yourself yet. Who? Who am I? I am Shadow the Hedgehog. I am the being created by Black Doom to destroy this planet. The court hereby has concluded the cross-examination. If that will be all, I have to bid you gentlemen and ladies goodbye. I have a reservation at the ultra fancy restaurant on the upper side of town. Thank you for your assistance. Yeah, it's such a stressful day, so please, bon appetit. What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to just let, let it go at that? Raise an objection. Hold it! Hold it! 
Please wait, Your Honor. All right, Nick. I think I may be able to prove it. Let me save this game. That's what I may be able to do. Before I fuck this up even more. Prove it. Prove what, Mr. Wright? Everything. Y Your Honor, the cross-examination had already ended. Besides, the defense is just going to badger the witness with more insane questions. You will not harass the witness. Is that clear, Mr. Wright? Ah, oh, shit. Did you hear that? No harassment allowed, Mr. Attorney. Please, Your Honor. Okay, maybe a little bit of harassing. But this is your last chance, Mr. Wright. You may proceed. You may present one piece of evidence to the court. I only get one shot at this. If you cannot prove anything, it's over. For your client and for you. Do you fully understand? Yes, Your Honor. I'm sure you are well aware, Your Honor, but the cross-examination period has ended. Fuck off! When your time to do shit ended, you still objected, asshole. Were you paying attention, Mr. Payne? I said that Mr. Wright could present only one more piece of evidence. Oh. Now then, Mr. Wright, this is your last chance. It all comes down to this. It's go time. Please present one piece of evidence that shall explain everything. Sure. Oh, shit. The glove. Uh, it's my business card. I hand wrote my cell phone number on the back of it. Now, now is it my business card? Is it my business card? Did I, did I put my business card up there? Why, thank you. How nice. Here, please have one of mine. Ah, thank you. Wait, what am I doing? This isn't the time to be exchanging business cards. Your Honor, there's something very important about that card, and that is the name on the card, the back of the card. Is it the back of the card? <laughs> really? He gave me some... <laughs> what the fuck? It's written in fancy script. The ink is strong and clear, but I still can't read it. Oh, God. Yeah, I know that feeling. Yeah, I guess it's my phone number on the back. Back of the card? Might be the back of the card. Oh, I can just save it right here. So if I get it wrong, it's all good and dandy. It's the back of the card. This card is important because of what's on the back. Hmm? You wrote your cell phone number on the back, but... But that's exactly it. Can you please call this number from your cell phone? Huh? Right now? The court's still in session. It's okay. You'll see. Did he take my phone? Oh, my, you have such a great phone. Didn't she have, like, a fucking, uh, samurai? Like, lanyard on her phone? Or whatever? Phone strap? Okay, if you say so. Is the defense prepared something? Has the defense prepared something, Mr. Wright? We're going to call my cell phone now. And then the court will see everything for what it is. Of, of all the idiotic stupid things! <laughs> why, why is my phone... And what is with this stupid sounding ringtone? Mr. Wellington? <clears throat> Hmm, how strange. I can almost swear that you're holding my phone. You, you're... Ugh. No, 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 no! It can't. By the way, before I forget, thank you very much for the lump on my head this morning. <laughs> I don't think I need to explain myself any further, except to say... When you went to retrieve your cell phone, you mistakenly took the wrong one. <laughs> well, 
Well, that's nice. So, that's what happened. You were knocked out by Mr. Wellington. He is a man who lives on his pride and self-image alone. And in order to hide his involvement with the con artist group, he has become paranoid and has lost all ability to make rational judgment. Hmm. Th then Mr. Wright, the phone you're holding? Is Mr. Wellington's natural? Uh, is Mr. Wellington's naturally? Speaking of that man, how was he, Mr. Payne? Ah, uh, he was arrested and was taken away, Your Honor. Very well. Now then, this court finds the defendant Maggie Bird not guilty. There will be a moment at some Phoenix Wright game where, where fucking my client is super guilty, isn't it? I feel it already. I feel it in my bones. That is all. This court is adjourned. That was nice. And guess what? It didn't take fucking 11 hours. It didn't even take two hours to do. September 8th, 2, 2 16 p.m. District Court Defendant Lobby number one. I knew that the real you would shine through eventually. I'm so moved by what you've done for me, sir. Thank you so much, Mr. Wright. I feel really bad for Dustin. He didn't do anything to deserve this. It's probably because of me. Huh? My whole life has been nothing but a whirlwind of bad luck and failures. Your whole life? Can't be that bad, can it? Since I was six months old, when I fell from the ninth floor of my apartment- Wait, what? <laughs> I fell from the ninth floor- Oh, shit. Okay. I've been hit on all sorts of vehicles, gotten sick from all sorts of food, failed at almost every test I've ever taken. Ex then how are you in the police force? Experienced almost every kind of disaster. And never won or even tied at a game of tic-tac-toe. Damn! My life had really been nothing but a string of disasters. That is... Uh, pretty bad. Up till now, I went to college. I was known for a g goddess of misfortune. And then at the academy, everyone called me Lady Lucky... Uh, luckiness. Luckyless, my bad. Lady Luckyless? I'm adding lucky. Luckless. It's luckless. Why am I saying lucky? What's worse is that my misfortune always seemed to latch onto those around me. What do you mean? When I see someone in trouble, I always try to help. That's right. You were talking about this earlier. It happens again recently, too, sir. There was an old lady packing, uh, packing, pacing back and forth by the pedestrian crosswalk. I gave her my hand, and before I knew it, we were having dinner at my house. What? Oh. I'm sure that Dustin's gone because of me. That's not true. That glove didn't even have any sort of special meaning. It was just a present to say thank, uh, thanks for covering one of my night shifts. Oh, I see. Everything's all my fault, Dustin. Wait, what? Everything is all my fault. Okay. It was two separate sentences. I fucked up. Everything's all my fault, Dustin's death. Your head being all messed up with? Uh, well, I don't think my head is that messed up yet. I'm gonna find a new life for myself starting now. The next time we meet, I'm sure I'll... I'm sure I'll have found a whole ocean worth of good luck by then. Yeah, after all, the goddess of misfortune is only a name. You bet! I'm gonna make it, I promise! Next time we meet, I'll only be an unlucky person instead of goddess. Yeah, that's the spirit. Well, Mr. Wright, Maya, I should get going. Alright, let's be real for a second. She has to get with fucking Gumshoe, doesn't she? They, they seem like a perfect match. That's right, I'm pairing them up together. Okay, good luck to you. Thanks. You take care of yourselves, too. Huh, what a horrible day. I got my memory back, but things are still a little fuzzy. But you're okay, and that's what counts. You really had me worried. Come on, let's go back to the office. Hmm? I'm afraid to ask, but, uh, but here it goes. So this might sound bad, but, uh, who are you? Yeah, she never, she never said her name. 
like I was catching on to that. I'm like, wait a minute. I love how the game is like, that's Maya, but she never really said her name. I gotta take a sip of water. I'm dying here. What? I thought you said you got your memory back. At that moment, everything really did come back to me. Because she smacked the shit out of me or something. Detective Gumshoe, he's someone I've clashed with in the past during certain cases. But he's also been a good ally during others. The judge, he's a lovable, kind old man who is easily swayed by other people's opinions. Except for mine, for some fucking reason. But in the end, he always comes up with the right verdict. This person, I haven't got a fucking clue. He seems to know me, but I don't remember shit. And this girl, Maya. You, you finally remembered. This is Maya Faye, my assistant. That's right. I have so many unforgettable memories about her. For example, Earth to Nick, what's wrong? You keep staring at me. Don't tell me if you miss me. Of course I did! Huh? Well, yeah, I suppose I have. I feel like I haven't seen you in ages. Oh. Well, I'm back now, so it's time for us to create a new memory together. Alright, sounds good. All the phone numbers on my phone were erased by Mr. Wellington. I guess I have to start over from the very beginning. Come on, Nick. Let's get our usual burger joint. Uh, okay. Actually, it hasn't even been that long since you came back into my life. So is her like spirit powers fully fully there now? She's like fully a a, a medium, because that's what she left for, right? To become a medium, finish her training. That story began one rainy afternoon two months ago. Episode one: The Lost Turnabout. The end. Yeah, we did it! Oh my God, who is that? They're adorable. A brand new episode has been at. Maya has a younger sister. Oh god, what have I got myself into? Oh no. We have one of them, we can't have two. We can't have two. We can't have two little Mayas running around. Jesus. That was no accident. I was drugged with sleeping pills. I was murdered by that person. Two Mayas would be pretty bad. Oh god. That's why I took my revenge. It's only fair, isn't it? Yeah. Eeny? 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 It's probably Eeny. Like Eeny, Meeny, Miny, Mo? It's probably Eeny. I finally get to see you again, and it's not your fault. You didn't do it. No, I, I did. I killed that person. Maya, you're in jail again? Oh, God. Jesus. All right. But that wasn't you. It doesn't matter. It might as well have been me. I can't believe something like this happened. The events of that gloomy, rainy afternoon that started this whole mess keep playing through my mind. June 16th, 3.34 p.m., Wright & Co. Law Offices. Huh? Who the hell are you? What depressing rain. Do you understand how depressed that makes me, don't you? I guess. But actually, more than being depressed, I'm angry. Angry at the weather girl on TV. I think our little rain spell uh, will take a break with the day of sun. That's what that girl said. I stick my life on it. Well, it is the weather. But that's why I didn't bother to bring any umbrellas today. What nerve calling herself a weather girl. She's going to hear about my, 15, <laughs> my $1,500 suit. Okay. Dude looks like a Pokemon character? He totally does. Oh my god, he totally does. Jesus, fuck. 
It's like it's like if the looker was a little bit more serious and a little bit older. Got that got that you know a little bit of that salt and pepper going on. Um, about your case. Unless you're planning on suing the weather girl. I'm sorry. I thought before we got down to business, we could have some friendly chatter. My name is Dr. Turner Gray. I'm a surgeon. Hmm. Remind me never to end up under his knife. I'm here today because of this incident. Malpractice at Gray Surgical Clinic. 14 inpatients lose their life. Oh, God. Oh. You're the doctor at... It's really quite upsetting. Uh, quite upsetting? God! 14 people? Fuck! Did you hear me? Upsetting! Yes, yes, I heard you, I agree. It's quite upsetting, Dr. Gray. The only- the one that screwed up was the nurse. It was her that got the medications mixed up and killed those 14 patients. And yet, now listen good. Wait, what? And yet, now listen good. And yet, what? I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that, that, that way of speaking. The nurse had nerves to go and die before admitting to her wrongdoing. Oh, fuck. She didn't even offer that sort of explanation to me. And this is the kicker. She up and, she up and has herself a grand old accident and crashes her car. Smash, crunch, instantly transforming her car into a accordion model. Hmm. That's right. About a year ago, all the tabloid shows were talking about it. Isn't that her, though, right there? 14 victims of medical malpractice in the nurse mysterious fatal incidents. There were rumors that Dr. Gray had eventually caused that crash. People said it was to forever hide the person responsible for the malpractice incident. Hmm. Why would I? Now I'm just going to say this once. Why on earth would I want to kill that nurse? She's the one who killed those 14 patients, not me. I think you need to take a deep breath, doctor, and focus. More to the point, this case is over a year old. Why bring it up now? That's simple, because the situation is slipping out of my grasp. This just won't do. My, cl my clinic isn't seeing nearly as many patients nowadays. Do you understand what that means? It means they're not coming to my clinic. You don't say. If it were me, I don't think I'd want to go either. So what would you like me to do about it? I want you to help me prove I'm innocent. Hmm, you do realize I'm a lawyer, not a private investigator, right? No, this is something only you can do. Maya Faye! You know this girl, correct? Maya? Why would he know her name? I heard you were working under her for a little while. Under her? How dare you? Well, yes, I mean- Hey, wait a second! I worked under her? Yes, am I wrong? She told me, so I'm not quite sure if- Well, we worked a few trials together. But she went back to her hometown to undergo more training. Ah, yes, I've heard. It must be lonely for you. Wh what Wait, I'm not- she must be an extraordinary girl to handle such rig uh, rigid training. Hmm? I have an acquaintance who knows a lot about these myster uh, mystical sort of things. She's the one who intrude introduced me to, my to Miss Faye. Fuck, I can't read. <laughs> Is Maya really that famous? And I've already set up my appointment. For what? What else? A channeling. I'm going to have her call the spirit of the nurse that went and got herself killed. Oh, Maya, I wonder what she's up to right now. We, the women of Fey clan, have always been spirit mediums. It's because the powers to commu- uh, what? It's because the powers to communicate with the spirits flow strongly through us. And that's what she told me. I guess she learned to accept her responsibilities and became an adult. Not counting training, this will be her first time channeling a spirit. So she gave me one condition before accepting my request. A condition? The condition is you, Mr. Wright. She said that she wouldn't do the channeling without without first seeing you again. Oh, isn't that sweet? And that's why I've searched you out. I want to see her too, don't you? Uh, you want to see her too, don't you? 
Yes, I miss Maya. And so, that's how I ended up visiting Maya's hometown with the doctor. Oh my god, I'm gonna meet her family. Oh my god. <clears throat> Let me get a sip of my water. Oh my fucking god. Alright, how do I pronounce that? Q Curan, Curane Village? Curan? Curi, Curian? Curia? Curia? I don't know. So this is that mystical village, Maya's hometown. Oh, you're so adorable! Why, hello there. Hmm? What an odd little girl. Hey, wait up, Pearly! Hmm? Someone else is coming this way. Nick! But Maya, how are you? It's good to see you again. Wow! I didn't think you'd really show up. It's not that big. I fucking love Maya's song. I love it, and it has a nice remix to it. It's great. It's not that big of a deal. You made it sound like you were so far away. Well, maybe I exaggerated just a little. It was only two hours by train. If I had known you were this close, I've, I'd visit more. No, you're not allowed. I already decided, you know. Until I become an adult, I have to work hard and be strong by myself. Oh, well. Anyways, congratulations. Uh, I'm glad to hear training is going well for you. <laughs> Let's catch up, Maya. What's going on? Looks like you finally became a full-fledged medium. Taking on your first job? Yeah, I didn't think it would be this soon. But this case, do you know the missing story, uh, the messy story behind it? <laughs> Behold the power of Maya's intelligent ne network. Let's see, 14 people died because of malpractice on Doctor's grave part, right? And to pin the blame on the nurse. He killed her in what appeared to be a car incident. Huh? Um, so what is this Maya intelligence network anyway? The tabloids. That's what I thought. <laughs> I'm just pulling your leg, Nick. What really happened is actually opposite. I heard all. I heard it all about from. Uh, wow. I heard all about it from Doctor Gray. Oh come on, Nick. I want to take a crazed killer as a client. That's too scary, even for me. Yeah, I guess so. Listen to this fucking remix of this song. I love it. It's great. So, this is your hometown, huh, Maya? Yep. Kurain... How the fuck do I pronounce this? How do I pronounce his name? K Kurain? Is it Kurain? I hope it's Kurain. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Kurain Village. But I've heard people call this place Medium Valley. Well, why can't we just call it that? It's, it's easier to say. Interesting. So everyone that lives here is a spirit medium? Pretty much. Most of my ancestors were too, I think. That's probably true since the Fey ability to communicate with the dead is so strong. Actually, only the women of the village are mediums. So what do the men do? They're our slaves. They usually work someplace outside the village. I love that part of the song. I love it so much. I'm gonna make this like a ringtone or something. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you about the girl I saw earlier. Do you know her? Oh, you mean Pearly? Pearly? Pearl Fay. She's my cousin. Oh, your cousin. Not your sister. Okay. Isn't she adorable? Just like yours truly. I can't, I can't argue there. There's no argument there. Cousin? Wait. And that means, is she also a... Yep, she's a medium too. Pearlie's a real genius when it comes to channeling. Hmm, I see. I hope I didn't scare her when I tried to talk to her earlier. Nah, it's not you. My aunt drilled it into her head that if a suspicious looking person tries to talk to you, run away. I'm not suspicious looking. Suspicious looking? Well, you're not wearing training clothes, for starters. Of course not. Pearlie's my aunt's most valued treasure, so she's not allowed to go outside of town. She doesn't know much about the world outside of Kirain Village. Aunt. Pearlie's mother is my aunt. Duh. Come on, Nick. Well, Nick, I gotta get going. It's about time for channeling to start. Oh. Oh, yeah. I'm doing the channeling in my house, so come on in, okay? After I'm done, we can grill up some juicy burgers. Alright. Good, good luck. 
I just realized they're not spelling burgers in the fucked up way they used to. I think in like the other game they translate they translate it as fucking hamburgs. <laughs> For some reason. They're like, let's go get some hamburgs. I'm like, what the fuck is a hamburg? Jesus. Alright, good luck, Maya. Thanks. Well, at least you're still the same perky Maya. Well, I don't I don't think there's anything to investigate here, so let's let's keep it moving. To the medium room. 219, Fay Manor, Meditation Room. Ah, Mr. Wright, I'm so glad you showed. Some nice weather we're having today, aren't you happy? No, not at all. What stupid weather girl made a wrong call again? It will rain cats and dogs today, she said with a straight face. I can't believe they allowed such misguided reports on the public airwaves. Looks like talking about the weather with this guy is just asking for punishment. But anyways, this is a splendid manner. No argument there. It's hard to believe that this is Maya's house, though. I was giving a guide map to this building. Here, Mr. Wright. I have a copy for you, too. Hmm. Alright. Today's channeling. What are you gonna do once the nurse spirit has been called? Isn't it obvious? I'm going to have her write a signed confession. A signed confession? Yes, a confession. Pay attention. I have her write this. One year ago, on May 2nd, 14 patients died due to my negligence. And then, on May 24th, I fell asleep at the wheel and died in a car accident due to my further negligence. I'm sorry, I, I'm sorry and I apologize for being neg neg uh, God. negligent. That's what I will have her write. Write a confession. The rain falling on my soul can finally stop. Oh, I see. I don't think that would hold up legally. So, how did you hear about Maya Faye? I heard about her from, from an acquaintance. A girl studying the occult at college. That girl introduced me to this village. This is the home of the Kirin School of, Ch of Channeling. What the hell? One of my friends fucking text me. <laughs> like 30 minutes ago if I wanted to get food. What the hell? Uh... <laughs> give me a second. This fucking guy. Um... Jesus Christ. <coughs> I didn't even notice that he texted me earlier. Jesus. I must have been doing... I must have just not been paying attention, I guess. This is the home of the Kyrian School of Training. Uh, channel, channel, fuck, channeling. The home, huh? And Miss Maya's the daughter of the Master, I hear. Master? Anyways, do you see that door? That's the room where people and spirits meet. Miss Maya's aunt is there right now. Would you care to meet her? Sure, why not? Oh, my bad. I fucking- I just realized I was gonna say I was gonna meet her fucking mother. Uh, <laughs> didn't her mother die? Or something? Winding way. Winding way. Winding way? Winding way? Winding way. Not winding. What the hell am I? What am I saying? 219th, Fay Manor. Winding way. Wow, this garden is really breathtaking. Someone put a lot of love into it. What is that over there? Is that an, an incinerator? It looks a little out of place in a garden like this. Hmm. Okay. Why is that? Whoa. Is that broken? This is a really old urn. The ashes of a person long dead are inside. It looks like something with a long history. Other than that, it's not very interesting. So time has moved on. <laughs> Accidentally napped, had a long day. Oh, trust me, I know how that feels. I was sleeping all day today. Then I got up, did some chores, took care of some dogs, fucking went back to sleep, peaced out. I know the exact feeling. Especially when you work nights, it sucks. <clears throat> 
Do 19 Fame Manor side room. So this is the side room. Looks like it's more of a break room. There's a bedding spread out on the floor. It looks like someone's sleeping in it. I shouldn't disturb them. And that means I totally should disturb them. There's a bedding spread on the floor. Is that someone sleeping over in there? She's probably exhausted, medium, taking a break and catching some Z's. If I wake her up, she might be grumpy and throw a spell on me. It's probably a good idea to not disturb her sleep. Oh man, okay. I just wanted, I just wanted to see the person. Alright. Back to uh, the medium room or whatever. Meditation room. Channeling chamber. Oh, look at this. This is fancy. 219, Fame Manor, challenging cham challenging, channeling chamber. <clears throat> wow, such a strange atmosphere in here. These flickering lights. I guess they're candles? No, I don't know what gave it away. Was it the fire or the fucking wax or the candle stand? Oh, shit. Good sir, who may you be? Ah, I am, a. Uh, my name's Phoenix Wright. Oh, you must be that, good sir. Good sir? Is she talking about me? I most certainly am not good. You're a lawyer, are you not, good sir? I have heard much about you from Myst Mystic Maya. Is that so? Mystic Maya. I'm Mystic Maya's aunt, Morgan Fay. Nice to meet you. Ah, I wanted to speak with you about a certain incident, good sir. It would seem that perhaps you asked too much of Mystic Maya in performing your duties. Most unbecoming, I'm afraid. Huh? Don't tell me you have already forgotten. That was it, uh, that was it not for Mystic Maya and her assistant. You would surely not have won. That was it not for, okay, I guess that makes sense. First a girl that runs away and now an old lady who says I stink at doing my job? When did I become the, pos the poster boy for how not to make a first impression? The past is the past though. Let us speak of the present now. Ah, thank you. Sure. So, why do you add Mystic to Maya's name? Isn't that a little strange? Good sir! Oh fuck, alright, I'm sorry. Damn, alright, you got it. Yes? How dare you be so rude and disrespectful towards Mystic Maya? I'm sorry. She must be addressed by her proper title, good sir. You must call her Mystic Maya. So about Mystic Maya... Is it... Is that blood? Wait, is it the blood? What? Excuse me? Yeah, I'm confused too, Phoenix. What the fuck she's on about? Mystic Maya carries the blood of the Master. And actually... In actuality, she is the only one remaining. Ah, uh, yeah, because Mia's dead, and, and, uh, and their parents are dead. Only one remaining? What's that supposed to mean? Mystic Maya is the last of the rightful heirs of the curing challenging technique. Oh, okay. Then where do you stand? This is a little more complicated. Although a woman of the Fae clan, I am merely a member of the Branch family. Branch family? What's that? It is as it sounds. For a member of the Branch family, no matter her spiritual power, she can never become the master of the Kyrian school. So, how strong are you? It is a shame, however I will admit. I cannot even begin to compare the lowliness of my powers to the masters. So that's how it is. Hmm. Okay. So today's challenging, uh, ch challenging, I keep saying challenging, channeling will be her first? Yes, good sir. Because the spirit of the person who died in a traffic accident is usually very strong, it is, uh, it is usually easier to call that person to our world. Traffic accident, indeed. The challenge, ah, fuck. <coughs> Gotta clear my throat, fuck. My throat's getting a little raspy. <clears throat> I'm not used to talking so much. The channeling will take place here, in this channeling chamber, good sir. As you can see, I am in the process of preparing. Okay. So, this room is a channeling, uh, channeling chamber. Jesus, fuck. The place where a spirit medium speaks with those who have been departed. 
I don't suppose you don't mind if we observe the, se uh, the se session. Do not even think of such nonsense. Only the medium and the client may enter here. Oh, sorry, my bad. It's not like the spirit's been channeled inside of a courtroom before with a million people to see. Not only that, but changing the physical form of Maya, too. The secrets of the curing techniques cannot be seen by just anybody. That never stopped Maya from doing it in front of me before, exactly. It is also for your safety, good sir, if something were to go wrong. That is why, while channeling is being performed, the heavy door is securely locked. Oh, that's what, it, that's what the lock is for. Let me guess. Let me guess. Let me guess what's going to happen. The moment you told me that's a heavy door with a lock on it. She's going to channel spirit. And she's going to kill that dude, ain't she? That man's going to die. Someone's dying today. Oh, yes. I wonder if you have yet to meet Pearl, good sir. Pearl? She is an adorable, angelic young girl. She is adorable. Look at her. Look how adorable she is. Oh, that's odd. She's my, uh, she's my daughter. Now then, what was it you were about to say? Uh, what a cute daughter you have. <laughs> a pure heart that knows not of the evils in the world is a powerful thing, good sir. Please refrain from affiliating with her. What? Okay. Cool. Well, it's not like I had the chance to anyways. I must insist and stress that you are not, uh, you are not, wait, what? That you not let it occur. Okay, okay, I get it. Jesus. Calm down. Fuck. By the way, what do you think about this? Good sir! <laughs> we would like to begin the channeling at 3 o'clock. If you don't mind, good sir, would you mind allowing me to make preparations? Uh, sure. Go ahead. She's a fay, all right. Just as out as the rest. All right. Damn it. I tried to impress her. I can't. I'm sorry. Maybe you'll be impressed. Check this out. Ha! Huh. Look, here's my attorney's badge. Are you trying to comp Are you trying to compete with me and my profession with that piece of scrap? Huh? I'm a surgeon compared to you lawyers. I'm practically a saint. Yes, well, I don't exactly have any patience right now. But, but, and listen good, I'm not the one that made the mistake. This doctor needs his head examined. Alright, fuck. Hey you, hold on now. This gal's got a few questions to ask. Hmm? I'm sure I've heard that southern axis somewhere before. Oh god! Oh my god! Oh shit! It's a lot of heart! I love this girl. She's great. Oh well, I'll be. It's Mr. Phoenix Wright. How you been? Haven't seen haven't seen you in what a year? Hmm. You are. You're a lot of heart. You're a lot of heart, right? Bingo. I'm the one and only f paranormal photographer. A lot of heart. Ah, so I guess you're still at it, being a photographer. I mean. Of course. And today, I'm gonna get myself a real scoop. You wait and see. Oh, that's right. This ain't no time to be wasting time. The channeling's about to get started. Is it that time already? Well, we all should hurry up and get to the meditation room. What are you waiting around for? Come on. A lot of heart, huh? I've been judging her harshly because of that case. But... I guess looking back, we had some good times, too. Yeah, she was kind of an asshole, but I like her. She's cool. I'm happy she's back. Holy shit. June 19, Fay Manor, Meditation Room. We will now begin the channeling. Mystic Maya and honored guests, please proceed into the channeling chamber. With this, I can finally squat all those pesky flies once and for all. You hear me? They won't be able to say a single bad thing about me after this. You would love to hear them apologize, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you, Mr. Wright? Me? Oh, uh, yeah. Sure, I guess. Mystic Maya, do you have the channeling chamber key? Yep, right here. That's the mo- 
that is most satisfactory. That key is one of a kind, so please take care of it well. I guess that'll be important in the case, huh? It'll be fine, Aunt Morgan. I won't lose it, trust me. Okay, Dr. Gray, let's get started. Finally, let's go. Let's get it started in here. Now, let us wait patiently out here for him. Please have some lovely bitter green tea and jaw-dropping large strawberry desserts. Hold on now, Granny. Granny? How come we ain't allowed in that room? Dear Madam, you have an embrace embraceive? Impressive. Impressive gap of English from where... Uh, wow. Wow. Couldn't read that. Jesus. Dear Madam, you have an impressive grasp of English. From where did you learn it? What? I'm from the heart of the heartland. Is that so? Then I humbly request that you return to this heart of the heartland. What are you... This is Kirin Village. If you cannot follow our traditions and rules, we request that you leave. Sorry. Wow. She shut Lada up. Now that's impressive. Now then, let us wait. I'm from the heart of the heartland. <laughs> Bang. Oh, shit. Hey, now. You're a rock star. What was that just now? It came from inside the channeling chamber. God, okay, I heard you the first time. Hey, that's a gunshot. Excuse me? I've heard that sound before. It's a gunshot. I bet my afro on it. Maya. Maya's in there. Ask Morgan what to do. Fuck that. Kick that door down, even though it's a super heavy door. But kick it down! Well, Mr. Lawyer, what's the plan? What else? We're gonna break in. What? But... There's only one key, and that kid got it, and the kid got it. You're gonna have to break the door. Is that all right, Miss Faye? Well, yes, but there's one matter, that is... Don't try to stop me. You can send the repair bill to Phoenix. I don't even have money to do that. You sure about that, Phoenix? Yeah, now that's what I call being a man. Bust that shit down. Oh, wow, it actually worked. Yep, that man's dead. Okay, called it. Dr. Gray! I... I was murdered. M Maya? That man murdered me. So I killed him. W what? Lotta, at a time like this? A time like this is perfect for snapping up shots. But anyways, what's going on in here? This gal, is she Maya? Step away from there. Please leave this area to me. Go quickly and inform the police. But, but, hurry before there are more victims here. Hey, let's go, city boy. Leave this to the granny. June 19th, Kirin Village. My cell phone doesn't get reception way out here. So I ended up using the phone booth to call the police. And they're on their way. That's good. Lottie, I saw I saw a genuine mysterious phenomenon. She seems really on edge because of all that. Not that I blame her. I'm scared to death. I'm scared to death by what's going on. Let's talk about it. What you witnessed? Hey, mister. That gal, Maya, she wasn't the one that pulled the trigger, was she? Oh, yeah. Lada doesn't know that when Maya is channeling, her whole physical appearance changes. Then again, weren't there only the two of them in there? I reckon she must have done it then. Lada, what do you know about Dr. Gray? Not much, but I did some digging. That's one gent with a bad reputation. Really? I heard he's good at surgery and stuff, but his personality stinks like a wet sheet. Uh, I sort of got the same impression myself. He's real controlling. Soon as his nurse and patients don't do what he says, he starts hollering. Must have been real rough to work with him. 
Ah, guess we'll head back to the meditation room. Is everything all right? Everything go fine? Everybody alive? Ah, oh, Mr. Wright. Miss Fay. How's, um, Mystic Maya? She has returned to this world. The spirit's severing technique was successful. Let me see her, please. She's still unconscious. I humbly request that you wait outside for her recovery. I guess I just have to wait. The police are here. Sorry to keep you waiting. Huh? You again. What are you doing all the way out here, Detective Gumshoe? It's actually kind of funny. I was in the area for a business trip, pal. Well, time to check out the crime scene. I have to question everyone here later on. So just sit tight, alright? Why is he grinning at me? Shall I show you the scene of the crime, Detective Gumshoe? Um, my name is Gumshoe. Oh. <laughs> I read it, at, I saw it so fast, I read it as Gumshoe. My bad, Jim Shoe. The two of them went into the channeling chamber. I guess all I have to do for now is see what everyone else has to say. Hmm. I, I guess. Kirane Village, June 19th. She's probably scared out of her wits after, ha after having a murder take place right by her. Lada? I had a fucking notification on my phone. God, don't... Wait, what? God, don't let it be me next. <laughs> okay? Don't scare me like that. What do you mean? You're the one scaring me. If I weren't so tough, you have another dead body on your hands. Mine. Jesus. Any ideas? Do you see or notice anything that stuck out to you? Nah. Well, maybe one thing. What is it? Turns out my poor stomach no good at handling this kind of thing. A what? Curses and ghosts and stuff. Coming back to you. Coming back to get you. This is just too much, I say. What's too much? Being a, a, being a cult photographer. That's some scary stuff. So I think I'm gonna try and be a celebrity photographer from now on. Going after photos more, more within your reach from now on? More glamorous? Less gore? What's up? Oh yeah. What is it? I took some hot pics earlier. Huh? Remember? I took some pictures at the murder scene inside. Ah, oh, she did. Two even. The seance murder. I'm sure I sure like the ring to that. It'll be those the sensation wait, it'll be a sensational eh, can't speak. Sensational story. Lotta. Sorry, but my journalistic sense is burning inside of me. Hate to cut and hate to cut a run. But I'm heading back in. Gotta beat those cops to the scoop of the century. Okay. I wish you would have at least given me those pictures. They would have helped out. I don't know who's scarier, Lotta or the spirits. And why does it feel like I've been through this before? Because maybe I have. June 19th, Mayfanner side room. Hmm. I'm pretty sure there was someone sleeping here earlier. Like, how can I help you? Huh? Okay. Uh, that's, uh... Hmm. Like, so isn't it about time to start? Huh? Time to what? You know, like the channeling. Channeling? Oh. <laughs> oh, no, actually, the situation has got... Has kind of changed. Huh? Like, what do you mean? Please stay calm, but there's been a murder. Um, so, like, a murder is that thing where, like, one person kills another, right? Yeah. Person has killed another person. Oh, that's, uh, what are the words I'm looking for? It's like, like, totally a bummer. Yeah. After all that effort, that's that's all she had to say? Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to, like, introduce myself. My name is Eeny Meeny. Oh, I called it. I called it. Like, Eeny Meeny Miny Mo. Eeny Meeny. Hmm. At the college, I'm researching and studying uh, parapsychologically. What? Parapsychology. 
parapsychology. That's right. Um, I think people, like, usually call it occult studies or something? Like supernatural phenomenon, ESP, and psychic powers, that sort of stuff. That's pretty out there. I'm Phoenix Wright, attorney at law. I'm gonna like this girl. <laughs> I like her already. Eeny meeny, okay. So, what brings you here today? Um, like, so, I was the one who told Dr. Gray about this place? He asked me, like, do you know of a good spirit medium? Hmm, Dr. Gray did say something about being introduced to this place. Cause, like, talking to the dead people and, like, multiple personalities are my thing. I see. When, <laughs> then, then why are you talk, why are you taking a nap here? Like, I wasn't feeling good? Huh? I am, like, allergic to sesame seeds. They, like, must have put some in the food they served for lunch? Oh, that doesn't sound fun. So, I, like, felt sick and came in here to, like, sleep. I totally feel like I have wasted my time because I, like, slept a long time. <laughs> I like her so much. She's cool. Okay. So you were sleeping here the entire time? Yeah, ever since lunch. So, you don't know anything about the murder that took place? Like, what? Oh, that. I, like, totally know nothing. So, who was it? Like, you know, killed. The surgeon that requested the channeling, Dr. Gray. You and Dr. Gray knew each other, right? Uh, is she okay? I don't know any Dr. Gray. Oh, really? Then what was all that talk about him earlier? Huh? Well, uh, like, a long, long time ago, I was like, a uh, patient, yeah? She sounds like she's trying to hide something. Okay, that's cool. What do you, what do you think about this? Like, I'm really sorry, but I'm not all that smart. So, I don't, like, get it. Hmm. Why does it feel like I'm just putting- Like she's just putting on an act? I don't know. It's the best act ever, though. I love it. Okay. Guess I'll head to the, uh, oh. Okay, what's going on here? There's no one here, as usual. Oh, hey! Hey, how are you? You're Pearl, right? Mm, silent as ever. What's she got in her hand? I've seen this somewhere before. Um. Well, if you won't talk to me, maybe this will get you to speak. Um. Oh! Is she actually reacting to it? What is this? Is it my hair? Is it too spiky? Not spiky enough? Okay, my attorney badge scared her away. That's a new one. I feel bad now. Okay, guess I'll just move on with my life. Can I go in the channeling chamber? 219, Fay Manor, channeling chamber. The police are busily running here and there, and I don't see Maya anywhere. Hey, you, don't touch anything. Look. I really need to ask you some questions. Hmm, don't look at me like I'm some sort of uncaring jerk. Tell you what, pal. I'll let you ask me a few questions, alright? Thanks, Gumshoe. Um, about Maya. I hate to break it to you, pal, but... With the way things look now, that girl's the only one who could have done it. Yeah, only Maya and the victim were inside this room, after all. But Maya is... You can ask more about her later, pal. Right now, I got a job to do. Matt's collecting evidence. Detective Gumshoe looks like a real professional. And yet, something about his expression still looks the same. So Dr. Gray was shot with a gun, right? He was shot in the forehead. But... But... But he was also stabbed in the chest with a knife. Really? But there was two gunshots. A knife? Basically... The Vic was first stabbed, then he was shot. 
That's kind of overkill. Okay. Um, I guess that's it. Oh, dear madam. Dear, dear madam. Is she talking to me? She's not talking to me. You have such impeccable timing. Oh, she, okay, she's talking to Annie. Like, what's all the buzz? <clears throat> all right, everyone, listen up. You too, pal. I'm going to give you all a brief update. Right now, it looks like the investigation's not going to be done until real late. And that is terrible shame. I propose that everyone sleep here under the roof of the Fey Manor tonight. Eh, don't see me complaining about it. What a mess. I can't believe how crazy this day turned out. Maya was arrested and taken away by the police. I don't see myself getting any sleep tonight. June 20th, 8.02 a.m. Fame Manor Meditation Room. Uh, morning. I guess I'm I must have nodded off at, the sa at some point. I hope Maya's okay. I should hurry and get to the uh, detention center ASAP. Nick! Nick! I... Maya! What am I gonna do? I never imagined it would turn out like this. Calm down, Maya. Take deep breaths. Come to think of it, the first time I met her, it all started right here in this detention center. I finally... I finally get to see you again, and... It's not your fault. You didn't do it. No, I did it. I killed that person. But that wasn't you. It doesn't matter. It might as well have been me. I was too weak, and I couldn't control the spirit's power. So, I don't want to bring up the case quite yet, but you don't have to be nice to me. I understand. Aw. Sad music now. Damn it. So, you're the master or something of the Curian School of Challenging. Actually, my mother is for now. I thought her mother died. But since that title has passed from mother to daughter, I guess I will be someday. But many people think that channeling isn't real. That it's all just an act. You believe in us, don't you? Who the fuck is... Okay. Still send me messages on my phone. Yeah, because I've seen it with my own eyes. When Maya's channeling a different a spirit, not only her voice, but her whole physical appearance changes. It's a supernatural phenomenon that occurs every time. It happened this time, too. Dr. Gray said that he wanted to call the nurse, so... Maya's body must have taken on that nurse's appearance. What exactly happened in the channeling chamber? I went into that room with Dr. Gray, locked the door, and sat down across from him. Okay. We closed our eyes, and I began to ch I began the channeling. This is sounding kind of creepy, like the beginning of a scary story. And that's the last thing I remember. What? After a spirit comes into my body, I lose myself, my consciousness. Then you don't remember a single thing? When I came to, I was being held by my aunt's arm. And there was blood all over my clothes. Hmm. Oh, but I do remember having a dream. A dream? What was the dream? What kind of dream did you have while you were channeling? Um, I can't remember it all that well, but... I was dead and buried in the ground. Oh, fuck. I couldn't move, and it was unbearable. Really suffocating. It went something like that. I see. I have no idea what it... What I, I have no idea what to say. There was a real familiar smell, too. Under the ground? Yeah. I can't quite place it, but I know I smelled that scent before somewhere. I guess this is about all the information I'm gonna get. I'll be back later, Maya. In the meantime, please make sure you prepare it, okay? Huh? It? What is it? The document requesting me to be your attorney, of course. But... What's wrong? Are you sure? I mean, I'm guilty. I'm a murderer. 
No one decides that yet. But I did it. I killed that person with these two hands. That's enough, Maya. It's hopeless. If you defend me, you'll lose, I'm sure. Stop it. Help me. Nick, help me. I'm scared. Don't worry, I will. When is the trial? Sounds like tomorrow? As usual, zero prep time. Alright, I'm going now. Wait. Hmm? This jewel. This is called a Magat- Oh god, I don't even know how to say this. Magatam? Ma Magatama? Ah, uh, Magat- Mmm, da 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 Magatama, right? Ma Magatama? I guess, I don't know. It's a mystical- It's a magical charm, and it always protects me. Give this to Pearly, and I'm sure she'll lend you her spiritual powers. Oh, Pearl's gonna help out. Okay. Well, take care, Maya. Does this put some hope into you? Sorry, Nick. There's nothing really special about it. <laughs> that, that hurts my feelings. But that's okay. I understand. June 20th, Kiran Village. I have to save Maya no matter what. It's her life on the line. What in the world happened to the room yesterday? Alright, well, let's go look for Pearl. June 20th, Fay Manor, Meditation Room. The meditation Room, uh, nurture, nurture, wow. <clears throat> Nurtures all mediums, young and old. Even mediums in training, I wager. But it's pretty deserted today. Probably because of the murder yesterday. Hmm. Where the hell... Little Pearl isn't here today. Maybe she's at school? Alright. Side room? Oh, that wasn't there before. Oh, hey! Like, you're that guy from yesterday. The, uh, dentist guy? No, no, I'm a lawyer. That's right! Um, Mr. Smith Esquire? That, that's right. Wait, I mean, you're wrong. My name is right. Smith! Right. Well... I got, like, three letters, at least. I don't think she gets the point. Anyways... Oh, my bad. <laughs> That's Nick talking. Anyways, why are you here? So, like, I study this thing called parapsychology at this college, and... Um, you told me about that yesterday. The sesame allergy, too? What I really want to know is, why are you still here today? Oh, so, like, that's what you meant. Like, you should have been more, like, clear about it. Sorry, my bad. No, it's okay. Like, it's really... Huh? That's it? Why don't you stop mid-sentence? Did I? So, like, what was I talking about again? If Lada, were, if Lada ever wanted another genuine myster mysterious phenomenon, it's right here. Okay, well... So, why are you still here today? Like, there's so much for me to do. Like, study here? Like what? Like, the medium training? Or like, how they inherit their spiritual powers? I suppose. This village is the real deal after all. So like, I ask if I could stay here for like, a little longer. She sure seems to like care- She sure- eh. She sure seems to like the carefree type, at least on the surface. Have you heard about the murder? It's, like, totally scary. She says with a silly smile plastered on her face. So, do you know anything about it that might help? Somehow, I don't think she has a grasp on reality, let alone what's going on here. About the victim, Dr. Gray? I don't know who you're talking about. Like, wait, I think you asked about him, like, yesterday? And that's right, her reaction yesterday when I asked was... You and Dr. Gray knew each other, right? I don't know any Dr. Gray. Oh, really? Then what was that talk about him earlier? Huh? Well, uh... Like, a long, long time ago, I was like, a patient, yeah? Okay, she's definitely hiding something from me. 
Like, is something wrong? A lot. Anyways, what's going on here? This cast of it? Now where did this box come from? I'm sure this wasn't here last night. It looks like a box for storing clothes, but it's pretty big for just clothes. It's mostly empty, but a few folded pieces of channeling costumes sat at the bottom. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Well. Thanks for your time, I guess. June 20th Fay Manor Channeling Chamber. It took, it took like, wait, what? <laughs> wow, my bad. It looks like the type of gumshoe is in here today. I should take this, cha this chance and thoroughly check this room. If I'm lucky, I might uncover a clue or two. Oh, shit. Oh, Mr. Wright. Good morning. I'm on my way to go meet Mystic Maya, and I thought to bring her some items to make her feel more at home. Namely, tea so bitter you lose your tongue and jaw- wait, and jaw-dropping large strawberry desserts. I'm sure Maya will be very grateful. That's Mystic Maya, good sir. Ugh, she's one of the scariest ladies. Oh dear, sweet Mystic Maya. Pearl wept constantly for, your la for you last night as I did. I know it's important for me to search this site, but I should ask her some questions too, while I have the chance. Sure. That can never be a bad idea. I would like to ask you a few questions about what happened yesterday. Do you mean that awful tragedy? That man murdered me. So I killed him. But Maya? Step away from there. Please leave this area to me. Go quickly and inform the police. What happened here in this room after I left? Well, first, I shook Maya on the head to make her go unconscious, correct? That is correct. Next, I performed the spirit severing technique. Spirit severing technique? The spirits of the nurse was inside of Mystic Maya's body. I used the technique to send the nurse spirit back to the other world. I wonder if this kind of testimony is even admissible in a court of law. By the way, what is the room exactly? The channeling chamber? This room was created for the sole purpose of preserving... Wait, what? Preventing such a tragedy as yesterday. What do you mean? Sometimes when a, an experienced medium calls an especially strong spirit, that spirit may become violent and revolt, as you witnessed yesterday. Revolt? But how? When a spirit enters a medium's body, she loses her will and herself steps aside. To put it in other ways, the spirit is borrowing the medium's body, good sir. But isn't that extremely dangerous? An experienced medium has little problem controlling a spirit. But Maya, I mean Mystic Maya, that was her first channeling. And that was why I insisted on locking the door. However, I never thought that... I never thought that would be... Wow. I never thought that would be calling danger upon the client himself. I'm grateful that one of our heirlooms was not was not damaged in this horrible incident. What I want to know is how the fuck did the spirit get a gun and a knife? And that would be... The folding screen. Uh, there. It is Kyrian's sacred writings. Along with the... Along with the Kyrian's sacred urn, there this village must treasure possessions. If I ever found out that something had happened to either one... Oh, the humanity... Odd for her to be worried about the folding screen at a time like this. I guess this isn't just some dilapidated old screen after all. So, how's Pearl today? Mr. Wright? Yes? In this world, Pearl is my most treasured possession. When compared to even Mystic Maya, Pearl has the spirit power of becoming a master a spiritual power of becoming a master. That's very impressive. Until now, the women of the Branch family have thought themselves to be inferior. But, Pearl is different. Her spiritual strength is so great, it even is greater than some of the main family. Yes, Pearl is a channeling prodigy, and is the pride of the Branch family. Wow, she really fired up now. In any case, our world is so different from yours, perhaps it is best for you to quit, good sir. Quit? Quit what? 
Okay. Well, let's check out the scene. Check out this blood on the floor. This is where the medium sits, I assume. There are four panels of the flooring. The straw on the flooring feels a little damp, probably from the humanity of humanity. Humidity of the air. No matter what I do, my eyes keep getting drawn to the pool of blood in the center here. Alright. It's a beautiful and expensive folding screen. It also looks quite old. There seems to be some sort of sacred text written on it, but I can't read it. Huh? This is... It's a hole. Could this have been maybe made by a bullet? Okay, well that's interesting. So someone was hiding in here. Well then, I do believe this is time for me to take my leave. Alright, please tell Maya I said hi. What was that? Uh, I mean, Mystic Maya. I will tell her. Huh. <sighs> well, I guess that's all I needed to look in here since she up and left. Let's check the, uh, the urn. Oh, hey, Pearl's back. Y you surprised me. And how are you today? Um, I guess she isn't open to friendly chatter. Uh, she's still holding something in her hand. It looks like the same thing she had yesterday. Hey, I got something for you. Check this out. Oh yeah, Maya said to give this to you. Uh, okay. What did I do wrong? I'm in trouble now. If Morgan sees us like this, I'll be the next one they're channeling. <laughs> that's... that's Mystic Maya's... Huh? She actually spoke. Who are you? I'm Phoenix Wright. I, uh, work with Maya. You worked with Mystic Maya? You... you're Mr. Nick, right? Uh, excuse me? I bet I know who she's picked Nick up from. I know who you are. You're... You're Mystic Maya's... Special some- Oh, God. Since, since when did that happen, huh? So then, of course! You're gonna help Mystic Maya, aren't you? That's what you're doing- That's what you're gonna do, right? Well, yeah, I will. Oh, wow! It's like a beautiful fairy tale. That earnest look shining brightly in your eyes. It must be true love. Hey, I didn't say none of that now. How old is Phoenix anyways? Because isn't Maya like, at this point she would be like 17? Was she 16 in the first game? Why am I being boiled into a bright... Why am I being boiled into a bright red lobster by this little kid? I'm so jealous of Mystic Maya. Oh, what a wonderful relationship. Wait, I... I mean, we aren't... Things aren't like... I can tell you're a good person. Alright, Mr. Nick. I may be small, but I'm going to help you in, in any way I can. Alright. Phoenix is 25 now? Oh, God. Is that... Well, I mean, Japan is weird, but this doesn't take place in Japan. It takes place in a mystical land, far, far away. But... I, I guess. I mean, I'm trying to think now, because uh, I remember watching Parks and Rec. Was, uh... I'm not sure if you've ever seen that. Was... Was, uh, what, what is her name? April and Andy? Was, was Andy, like, fucking 23 when he went out with April? I think she was, like, 17 at the time? In, like, Parks and Rec? I'm not sure if you ever watched it. But they, they did something like that, and then they got married, like, super fast. Okay, well, now that you talk to me, check this out. I'm sure it's helpful to you in some way. But I'm still in training, so I don't know anything about it. I'm really deeply sorry. No, 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 it's okay. I shouldn't have shown you something so trivial anyways. My badge is not trivial. They're not they're not supposed to be dating Phoenix and Maya. Okay. I'm very sorry. This feels so weird talking to a kid like this. Okay. Well, I love how her song is is kinda like Maya's, but it's more lighthearted, it has a little difference to it. Like, more, more higher octaves, I guess? Pearl, are you friends with Maya? I feel very grateful to be friends with her. She's so great. I know, right? 
want to be like Mystic Maya when I grow up. I really look up to her. Wow, I had no idea Maya was so uh, revered. Usually when people don't use Mystic Maya's title, I get mad. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. But if it's you, Mr. Nick, then it's okay. Because, because you're special to her. Why in the world, where in the world did you get an idea like that? By the way, this may be rude, but, but which channeling school are you from? Which channeling school? Yes, for example, I study the curing technique. Ah, I get it. No, 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 I'm a lawyer, a lawyer. Lawyer? Yep. Uh, girl's cute, but stupid. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest, it's not that different from Maya. <laughs> The only difference is that, is she also like a fucking glutton and a goddamn, like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Klepto? Because Maya just takes shit and just eats things. Like, she's just a fucking hoarding machine. Is that related to spirit mediums in any way? Hmm, not that I know of. Wait, are you telling me you don't know what a lawyer is? I'm sorry, but I have no idea. Uh, Maya did say Pearl doesn't know much about the outside world. So what's, so what's that you got there, Pearl? Oh, this? I found it yesterday. Hmm? If you want it, I can give it to you. I'll take it. What's the catch? All right, well, if you really want to give it to me. <laughs> you look like a child at a toy store, Nick. She's not only, she not only speaks in refined, wow. She not only speaks in a refined manner, but laughs in one, too. If she laughed in a refined manner, she would do that, uh, that Osu laugh. The oh! <laughs> hmm, Mr. Nick. Yes, pearls. 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 Why did I call her pearls? <laughs> I can call you that, right? You're too cute to be called. Okay, you're too cute to just call pearl pearls. Uh, he passed out. I have no recollection of how many time, how much time has passed. <laughs> that's the best. That's the best way to get sleep. Sure, Mr. Nick. Um, are you sure it's okay for me to have this Magadama? Mm, yeah, it's okay. I was told to give it to you. But I can't accept something like this. Let me guess. Does it mean you're like head of the household or some bullshit? All I really should do is charge this Magadama with spiritual energy. Spiritual energy. Please take this. I'm sure it will be helpful. You sure this ain't radioactive? You sure I'm not gonna grow an extra finger from touching this? What do you mean? It'll let you see people's secrets. Oh, fuck. Where the fuck was this? I forgot about this. Where the fuck was this in the first game? Maya? God damn it. See people's secrets? Yes. If it's alright with you, I would like to accompany you for a little while. I can explain the Magadama's power to you when we, when we meet someone hiding a secret. Okay. Well, I came here to look at the urn. Even though it looks shattered as shit, it's a really old urn. The ashes of the person, the long dead, are inside. It looks like something with a long history to it. Other than that, it's not very interesting. Okay. What's her name mentioned it, so I thought I would check it out. Makes the game easier, but also harder. Ooh. I like the sound of that. I like the sound of that. It's a small incinerator. I don't think garbage trucks come all the way out here to this tiny village. So every family has to burn their own trash. Hmm. What I still want to know is how the fuck did the spirit get a gun and a knife? Like, come on. Alright. Well, I know someone who's hunting a secret. Miss Eeny Meeny. Hello again. We seem to be seeing a lot of each other the other day. Aww. She, aw, she's like, totally cute. Is she, like, your daughter? Wh what? No! How old do you think I am? I don't know, if he's 25, he can have a daughter, you know? That, that's part, that's my ghetto-ness coming out. If, she, if he's 25, she can have a daughter. <laughs> wow, okay. Um, the victim. I want to ask you about the victim, Dr. Gray. I, like, totally don't know him. Oh. Oh, God! Okay, Kingdom Hearts, calm down. What is this? Huh? You can't see it, can't you? 
Oh, you can see it, can't you, Nick? You can see the lock on the person's heart. What is this, fucking JoJo Bizarre Adventure? The fucking guy, he's like, you ran over my cat! Now I put a lock on your heart. A what? This is the power of the Magadama. Only you can see these physical locks. I mean physical, psychic locks, Mr. Nick. Psychic locks, huh? The more someone wants to hide... I fucking, I, I heard something in my headphones for a moment. It scared the shit out of me. The more someone wants to hide their secrets, the more locks you will see. If it's only one, I think you can easily unlock it. Unlock? But how? Please use the mystical, please use mystical Maya's Magadama on this person. And let's remove the lock. I have no idea what she's talking about, but I guess I'll give it a try. You must be careful though, Mr. Nick. If you make a mistake, it will hurt you. If you don't think you have the proof you need, you must have the courage to stop. Well, I gotta start somewhere. Let's give this psychic lock a, a try. The psychic lock thing, uh, can't speak. Psychic lock thing a try. God damn it. Okay, well, if I can die here, then shit. Okay, this is interesting. I'm gonna ask you again. Did you know Dr. Gray? I totally don't know that guy. Like, you're totally more persistent than a roach. This girl is hiding something, I'm sure of it. I guess I have no choice but to remove this lock. All right. So first I have to use Maya's Magadama. Oh, oh, how do I do that? Do I just... I just go to present, I guess? The victim. Okay. Eeny meeny. I believe you do know who Dr. Gray is. I told you, like, how many times do I lie? I have to repeat myself. If you're like so totally sure, then where's your proof? Well, it may be possible that you never actually met Dr. Gray in person. I do believe you might have at least indirectly known of him. Like, what do you mean? Like, indirectly? I should try to show that. I should try to show that the possibility existed for her now. Hmm. Okay, here we go. Something that connects them? Got it. I didn't even check this. Sorry, I'm trying to... Alright, well, that's nothing. Well, I don't have anything. I don't think I have anything. Something that shows a possible connection. Yeah, I don't think I have anything. So, I'll come back to this one. Don't have evidence yet. Alright. Okay. Well, that's nice to see. Guess I gotta do a bit more investigating. Meditation room. Oh, what's going on here? Hey, it's you, pal. So you're gonna be you're gonna be her lawyer, I bet. She reminds me of April May. She definitely does. The only difference that April May isn't like complete. She isn't. April May pretends to be stupid. I think Eni Meedy is. Fucking completely stupid. <laughs> She's like totally a sorority girl or like a valley girl or something like that. Totally. Yes. Oh. I really feel bad for you, pal. Just this once, I wish I could be on your side. Detective Gumshoe. Yeah, but I shouldn't be saying that kind of stuff to you. Hey, you're a cute kid. <laughs> Don't talk to him, Pearl. He looks weird. <laughs> I'm not scary. Honest. Wow, I never knew Gumshoe liked kids. Hey, I know. I'll show you something cool. How's it? It's a real genuine pistol. Oh, God! Oh, no! Detect the Gumshoe! What are you doing showing that- showing something dangerous to her like that? Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Here's a gun, kid. Like, oh, fuck. Alright, well... Luckily, we avoided that. What about Maya and the charges against her? I don't think you can win, pal. If you're talking about proof, we got a few pieces. You got proof? Yeah, pal. That puffy-haired photographer going to testify tomorrow. Ah, oh, come on, Lada. God damn it. All right. 
You must be talking about Lotta. Actually, speaking of Lotta... I took some hot pics earlier. Huh? Remember? I took some pictures at that murder scene inside. Lotta's hot pictures. Wow, that, that, that phrasing, like, just popped out in my head. It's like, mm, Lotta's hot pictures, I wonder. I wonder what her cameras, uh, what her, what her camera captured. Besides, you must realize by now, pal. There's no way anyone other than Maya Faye could have done it. What am I supposed to say to Pearls now? About Dr. Gray. The victim wasn't super famous, but people still knew who he was. His face was all over those tabloids shown last year. Yeah, I know. I was looking through some newspapers from last year and... Huh? I could have sworn I had to cut, a, cut out an article, but I guess I must have lost it. He's searching through his pockets, and boy, are those some big-ass pockets. He said my pockets are deep. Got all this cheddar. Hmm, looks really interesting too. Hey, do you have a copy, pal? A copy of that article. I think Dr. Gray must have brought a copy to the office when he came by. Guess I gotta head to the office and get one. About Maya's trial tomorrow. I got two pieces of news for you, pal. Two? Yeah, bad news and even worse news. So which do you want to hear first? I don't really care. It doesn't change the fact that I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna like it. Alright, pal. Well, the prosecutor for the trial is Prosecutor Von Kar- What? What? Von Karma? Isn't he in jail? Manfred Von Karma, he was an awe-inspiring veteran prosecutor. Never lost the case in 40 years of his career. And he released the fearsome... He re blah, 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 I can't read. And he raised the fearsome uh, disciple. The horrible aftertaste of the evil... <coughs> of the evil he force-fed me is something I'd never forget. Okay. Wait a second. But didn't Von Karma stand trial and... And that's where the other piece of bad news come in. The Von Karma you're facing tomorrow is actually his successor. What? Like a kid? Successor? So, um, who's the successor to Von Karma? Literally, pal, it's the prosecutioner of Von Karma's kid. Oh, fuck. Oh, well, I'm gonna not have a good time with that. His kid became a prosecutor real young, like 13? Oh, shit. And hasn't lost a trial since? That's what they call a prodigy, pal. Hmm. Kid, huh? Wait a second. 13? The kid became a prosecutor at the age of 13? Okay, fucking Nauto, Prince Detective. All right, I see you. I mean, a prodigy like that, I would have heard something about it. Oh, no, no. The kid was born and raised in Germany, pal. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. That's even worse. N nothing against, nothing against German, Germany, you know? I, I love their chocolate. <laughs> that was a, that was a terrible thing to say. It's about to be a fun trial. Yep. That country's got a lot of stuff and it's great, and it's a great place to develop a person's talents. I bet. Germany, huh? It's probably why I never heard of this person. Uh, still, all it takes is someone mentioning the name Von Karma. And I get terrible flashbacks to that case. The best case in that fucking game. Stop it! Get a grip of yourself, Phoenix! None of that matters anymore, now that he's gone. Okay. Damn. What you cracking about? Fucking gumshoe, you ain't helping me here. Guess I'm gonna head to the, uh, here. Pick up that article that's on my desk. Phew. Feels like I've been gone forever. But it's only been one day. Oh, that's right. Where's that newspaper Dr. Gray brought the other day? It's right there. Oh, here it is, right on top of my desk. This is the only thing he's left behind that's going to be of any help. All right. I love how the dude really <laughs> having, having gay flashbacks to Edward. <laughs> I mean, hey, 
Edgeworth's cool. I'll go gay for Edgeworth. All right. Now that I have this, I also love that Phoenix said it takes him like fucking two hours to get here. So two hours to get to the office, two hours back. I'm wasting a lot of fucking time. <laughs> All right. Got to head to uh, what's her face? Eeny meeny. All right. I got you now. Malpractice. Yes, yeah, the tabloids. All right. Check this. Here's your proof. Like, what is that? Ouch. I guess it doesn't have anything to do with it, huh? <sighs> I guess she couldn't have read the tabloids. Damn, is she even capable of reading? Or else Pearl did warn me. You do get hurt. Alright. I should stop. Alright. I don't got nothing. You win. But I will. I will get you one day. I will get you one day, Eeny Meeny. Just you wait. Alright. Now, I'm pretty sure I checked this out already, right? Yeah, I did. There's nothing in here for me, I think. Uh, let's go talk to Maya. Maya should be able to help me. If you run out of bar, you literally die. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you just go like, oh, my life energy. Maya must be in another round of questioning. I hope the detectives are taking it easy on her, but... These kind of cases aren't usually taken lightly, either. I guess I'll come back later. Oh, shit. I mean... Damn. Where the fuck is Lada? Where the hell does she go? I think I gotta show this to Gumshoe, right? He wanted to see it? Um... Dr. Gray brought this over to my office the other day, and... Hey! Is that a news story? The one about the malpractice suit? Fourteen patients died and it caused a huge stink. Yeah, but that's not all, pal. Things only got worse after that. You mean the car accident the nurse died in? Hmm. Oh, here we go. I brought my own clippings with me today. Here, pal. This is for you. Alright, thanks. Let me see what that says. Mimi, oh my god, Mimi, e oh god, Mimi, Mini, that's so fucking hard, god damn it, Nurse Ed Gray, so, she's related to fucking, Mini Mini, is that her mom, oh shit, okay, I got your fucking number now, Jesus. I got you now. Eeny, meeny, meeny. I never heard it like that. I heard eeny, meeny. Oh, God. Usually it's eeny, meeny, money, mo. Not, not eeny, meeny, meeny. Wow. Eeny, meeny, meeny. Fuck. Forget it. Fuck. <laughs> God. It's killing me. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Yeah. Yeah, but they spelled her name Mimi. Which fucks me up. It's not meeny, meeny. <laughs> Take a look at this newspaper clicking. Clicking. Wow. Clicking. Wow. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks, life. Like, what is this? A story about... Uh, an accident? Please read the victim's name, if you can actually read. Um, Mimi... Mini? Mini is a pretty rare last name, wouldn't you say? Miss Mimi Mimi... Oh, fuck. 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 Miss Mimi Mini wouldn't happen to be a relative of yours, would she? So, you notice. She, she was my other sister. 
I'm sorry about your loss. Your sister, was she a nurse? Perhaps uh, at Dr. Gray's surgical clinic? Gray's surgical clinic? I don't think I need to tell, tell you that, oh wow, that the clinic was run by the victim, Dr. Turner Gray. Which is how you knew the Dr. Gray, you knew him through your sister. Hey, I do get health back. Nice! Now why can't I get health back during the fucking trial when I get something right? That would help me out a lot. Okay, well tell me about the victim. Please, tell me all you know about Dr. Gray. Oh, her sister's- her sister looks kinda bitchy, but pretty cute at the same time. <laughs> you got a real bitchy sister. You asshole, she's dead, I know, but she still looks bitchy. <laughs> my- my sister's name was Minnie Minnie. She was, like, a nurse at Dr. Gray's clinic. That's what I thought. I heard that, like, Dr. Gray was really tough on people, like a total slave driver. My sis was, like, always coming home, totally wiped out because she was overworked. Wiped out? So, is that, is that why she fell asleep at the wheel? That guy, like, drove my sis so hard, she, like, that's why the accident happened. The one where 14 people died from malpractice? Yeah, like, I think that was the doctor's fault too. My sis was pushed by, like, everyone's expectations and, like, her duties and stuff. And that pushed her to her death. Oh, I'm sorry. So, like, are we done? I've, like, already told my story to, like, everyone. Do you understand now, Mr. Nick? This is how a psychic lock works. Well, I don't plan to pry into people's hearts unless I absolutely need to. That lock this time was pretty easy, but you might meet people who aren't as willing to give in to give in later on. If you don't have enough proof, be careful and be careful and know when to stop trying. Oh shit. Okay. Way to strike fear into my heart, little child. So what else we got? I think we can probably go see Maya now? Oh, is Lada gonna show up? Cause she hasn't been here. Mr. Nick? Hmm? What's wrong? I've never left Kirin Village. Really? Wow, that's pretty amazing. You're gonna meet with Mystic Maya, aren't you? Please tell her I said hi. Will do. Hey, wait! She ran off, again. Well, I know any secret now, but I still don't have any idea how I'm gonna save Maya. I don't even know if I should go in there with a smile or a straight face. <sighs> okay. What am I supposed to do? I'm almost out of time. Can I really do anything? Can I really save her? Sorry to keep you waiting. Huh, must be Maya. It's been a long time, hasn't it, Phoenix? Uh, That voice. Hey, Mia! You know, without me being here, it looks like you've learned to stand on your own. I love you, Mia. You're great. She's my older sister and my mentor. She was a top-notch defense lawyer, but a certain case forced her into retirement. But whenever I'm in trouble, she comes to help, just like this. Her spirit comes back from the other world and borrows Maya's body for a bit. Phoenix, you can't make that kind of face in front of your own client. A lawyer is someone who smiles no matter how bad it gets, and especially when it's bad. Mia, you can't smile at the end if you haven't even smiled the whole way there. In any case, the face you're making now is no face to show a client, Phoenix. How's it hanging, Ryan? So, then tell me about it. I'm gonna get- I'm gonna guess that my sister's in a lot of trouble again. 
I told her everything about what happened in the last two days. Mia closed her eyes deep in thought while she listened. I see. Mia, what am I supposed to do? It's pretty clear what a good lawyer does in these situations. And that is? Tell me, please. Believe in your own convictions. And fight for the complete... Uh, equa wow. Wow. Equality? Equality? Equ equality? Fuck! I've never seen that word a day in my life. Don't judge me. Alright. Hey, Mia. Before you leave, tell me what you think about this. Mia. <laughs> wow. This badge brings back a lot of memories, doesn't it? I would love to stand with you at the defense branch one more time. Branch? Brent Bench. I love you, Mia. You're great. You're amazing. Okay. Now talk to me, Mia. Think Maya's not guilty? How can you be so sure? I know she is, and I'll give you a hint as to why. Um, I'm gonna say because a gun and knife m somehow magically appeared out of thin air. Mediums can't have dreams. What? So she's not a medium? Wait, what, what the fuck are you talking about? They can't? From what you told me, it sounds like Maya was having a dream while channeling. Yeah? She says she dreamt that she was that she had died and had been buried in the ground. But that is impossible. You heard it from her, I'm sure. When a medium channels, her own spirit disappears. Which means that it's impossible for her to dream during that time. Then, what does this mean? I think it's safe to bet that Maya was set up. A set up? It's up to you to blow the lid on this case tomorrow and show how she was set up. Okay. How am I supposed to prove her innocence when I have nothing to go on? If you're looking for a clue, it's already in your hands. I... it is? Just as it sounds, Phoenix. You already hold the key. Really? Come on. Show me the key to this case. The key, huh? Alright, guess I'll show it to her. The key that I hold. Is it this key? This literal actual key right here? Maya, have you seen this key before? Ah, the key. It's literally the key to understand everything that happened in this case. This key. Phoenix, listen. Right now that key is sitting in your hands. However, it shouldn't be. It contradicts the facts. Yeah, the fact that there's only one key? So there's not actually only one key, there's two. What does she mean? I'm certain this key will be the piece of evidence that makes your case tomorrow. Hmm. You already know everything you need to know. You know that the key to this case is... That is enough. But, but, how can I win tomorrow without knowing who the real murderer is? Who, who could have... Hmm. I didn't know, I didn't know it at that time. But this day was going to be the end of the turn for us. Wait, the end, wow. <coughs> but this day was going to end with the turn for the surprising. You're lying to me? B Maya? Wait. Not Maya, my bad. Mia. What's wrong? That's right. Only I can see the psychic locks. Which means... Mia must know something about the real murderer. But for this to be something that she would hide under lock and key from even me... What in the world's going on? I could tell you my sister isn't convicted of murder, and I'm gonna give you a mysterious clue instead. I know all the answers, and you don't. 